Pick up your gear and open your chest. Throw on your armor and head out on a quest. Hey, hey. It's a brand new day. everyone welcome to season 15 episode 6 of rivals of Waterdeep. we are so happy to have you all here with us this day uh let's go around let's do our introductions it was so smooth it was this always it day was, this day i was said this evening and i was like no the sun's out no. uh for everyone around let's go around and let's do our introductions uh we're gonna oh. start it off with latia Hey, hi, it's me. The Zoom windows are not fixed to everybody. There we go. Hi, everybody, it's me. I am in the correct order. And today, uh, after uh, flying across country uh, from LA last week, Dahani is here, your favorite Aarakocra monk. I just had a brain fart. I was an Aarakocra bird monk. I'm like, no, yeah, that's what Aarakocras are. <laughs> Pronouns I thought you were going to say myself or she, her. I thought you were caught up on whether or not to use the word murder bird because there was a whole incident of whether or not that was your title. No, you know, I think oh. that might have been it. Like, yeah. I was just going to go Air Cocra Bird Monk and just leave off the murder. Yeah, right. Just, just, bird monk. <laughs> just Bird Monk. <laughs> just Bird Monk. I also like that Air Cocra becomes Erica. Um, that is fun. <laughs> oh, yes, Erica Bird Monk. Erica Bird Monk, yeah. An Erica Bird Monk. <laughs> All right, cool. We'll move right along. We've got Tanya. Hey y'all, uh, Tanya here, Cypher of Tear. I am Slee Sestorio, your paladin with a skosh of barbarian and a little bit of a uh, ranger. Pronouns for both Slee and myself are she, her. Heck yeah. And then up next, we've got Brian. Hi, I'm Brian, and I completely forgot what I was going to say a second before my mouth opened. So fantastic. Hi, I play Virgil, your Asimar Storm Sorcerer. Virgil's pronouns are he, him. My pronouns are he, they. You know, you landed it, though. That was beautiful. Well done. Uh, much like two episodes ago, piloting it perfectly amidst the storm. We've got after uh, Brian. Ken. Sorry, you Henio. Jeez. Louis. You were so close, though. So you close. really it was with confidence. I was sure you were going to get it right. Hi, everybody. Today's episode. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Okan. Okay, I'm DM Jazzians. Uh, I play Kent, our uh, tiefling phantom rogue with a little bit more bard today than before um that's me why both of our pronouns are he him heck yeah and then up next we've got sharif hey i'm sharif uh he him we're playing uh shaka uh tiefling celestial warlock also he him 
And then that just leaves me. Hey, everyone, I'm Masood. Uh, usually I play Gazrik Nomrad, who both of our pronouns are he him. But this season, as you've been watching, I've been the GM. And so I've been using assortment of pronouns for all the NPCs that we interact with. Um, and that'll be how it goes till the end of this episode. Uh, we'll see how things turn out. It's going to be a doozy. I'll say nothing else about that. Uh, but I'll throw it to Sharif now to give a little shout out to the folks that makes us possible. Yes. As I eat. Um, yeah, so <laughs> mm, that was good. Sorry, I'm, I was I was just e eating those tasty ad reads. Like I just took the paper and just <laughs> swallowed it. Um, yeah. It was very, very good, actually. Um, yeah, so um, let's let's give a special thanks to folks that help make our show awesome. Let's start with D&D &D Beyond, y'all. Our character sheets are digital, so we can look at all our spells, do our ability checks, saving throws in case Masood wants to throw huge monsters at us. Um, you can manage encounters, ro roll dice, and like access a bunch of source books and background information as well. Um, so make sure to check them out at dndbeyond.com. Um, if you're listening live, um, we will be having a giveaway as usual, so make sure to um, look out for the code in the chat. Um, you must be present to win. So once you enter that code, make sure to stick around. Um, and uh, yeah, you, you'll uh, be able to get, get some dope, dope content there. So make sure to check them out at dndbeyond.com. Uh, also, uh, if, if you want to roll s some physical dice, check out Die Hard Dice um, at dieharddice.com. Um, and if you use the code RIVALS there, you'll get 10% off um, of your dice order there. Um and and um, so that, that was actually pretty good. Thanks. Yeah. Ready for it? Um, yeah. yeah, pretty sweet. Um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like your hideous uh, version of that too. It's pretty good. I'll tell you <laughs> the true gift master for sure. Uh, <laughs> just like a living gift. Um, <laughs> um, which I guess is a person, right? Living gift. Yeah, we're we're, kind of we're all living gifts. Um, if and uh, if 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 you want some uh, geeky gear and stuff to adorn your uh, gaming space with, talking about shirts, mugs, hats, uh, masks, uh, all kind of cool stuff there, check out Stormcrow at shop.stormcrow.com and use the code RIVALS for 15% off of your order there. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to sound oh so silky smooth like the Rivals crew, check out Blue Microphones. Crew.bluemike.com slash rivals. Any purchase, purchases made at that link will give us credit and you'll be able to get some dope uh, sounding audio and video um, as you see in our show as well. Um, also, we are partnered with Idol Champions by Codename yeah. Entertainment. Idol Champions is a great game that you can get on any, any console, PC, Mac, all kind of great stuff. Um, all of our characters are in there as well as Disco Pest, Fenris as like a familiars and a, a whole bunch of other characters from affiliated shows such as Black Dice Society and other shows as well that are also um, cool. Um, but if you have all, all all the rivals in your group, you'll get a whole bunch of cool like uh, modifiers and stacked things. So so like make sure to um, check us all out there. Um, and. Uh, we are also our newest sponsor, Voice Mod. Uh, we, 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 we've been greeted by new characters all season to help us advertise Voice Mod. Um, and I think we might have one uh, coming up. Hi, everybody. I'm here to tell you all about our great partnership with Voice Mod. <laughs> you can go to voicemod.net. And check out all of the awesome services. I'm there, and so are a bunch of other voices. If you use code RIVALS, that's R-I-V-A-L-S, at checkout, you'll get 5% off of your license. Check it out! <laughs> I wasn't expecting there to be a drop built into the music cycle, but there was, and it's great. Incredible. Uh, thank you, Voice Mod, and thank you, Eugenio, for once again greeting us <laughs> incredibly. Oh, you're so welcome. Reason. You're uh, so welcome. Uh, and, you know, uh, thank you, Sharif, for our ad reads. Um, now, all we have to do is talk about what happened previously on Rivals of Waterdeep. And for that, we need our whoosh cap. Yeah, uh, I gotta go get the, the whoosh apparatus. Hold on a second. Oh, oh. snap! Uh, oh, here's apparatus. me. Vamping, vamping, right. vamping. You know what's been I'm cool? I'm concerned. Seeing the rel... <laughs> You know what's awesome? I uh, didn't know at the time because I was a really 
Oh. How did I not know? I, I really thought it was a hat. I really, I really didn't know. I mean, he just, he just woke up. Oh. <laughs> but it's so, uh, Yeah. All right, everybody, get your whooshing apparatuses ready. You ready, Bubba? Oh. <laughs> Previously on Rivals of Waterdeep. Whoosh. Whoosh. Hey, look at the chain go! Oh, heck yeah! Yes. Oh. We love, I love pet see it. I love oh, pet wishes. Good. Oh, so good. Baby. Such a good boy. I know you so can't silly. hear us in our pet voices, but they come out. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, hey y'all, what happened previously on Rivals of Waterdeep? Yeah, fill me in. Too much. Uh, so we found out what. I almost said rival. Gosric and rival, I guess, Mostly have been rival. up to. <laughs> uh, we learned that Gosric uh, was real shook after the whole thing with Laryl, and so went out a wandering, wandered out to the woods outside of Waterdeep, several miles. Uh, uh, made um, acquaintance, met some animals, some yeah. awakened animals. That had had a chat with him. Uh, sort of destabilized the forest economy a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Okay. Uh, sure, it remains cool to be seen whether ultimately it will be a positive change or not. But, you know, I've got faith. I don't. Uh, <laughs> then while uh, while some squirrels were chucking acorn hoods and holding on to the nuts, uh, Gosrick ran across Rival in the woods where we hid them. At which point uh, he got into a conversation with Rival about, uh, well, Rival was, you know, a little offended at having been left alone out here, except for Walter, who had found and been visiting Rival. Uh, and so talked a little bit with with Rival, got into a, Gazer got into a nice conversation with Rival about, like, the meaning of being helpful and what he actually wanted to accomplish and uh, Masood, you probably can put it best, the re realization that Gosric too came to in that moment. Yeah, uh, I think it was a beautiful, beautiful orchestrated moment. Also, folks didn't see last episode, we tried something new where we did a multi GM session and one solo player, me, because I was very indulgent in designing this season. <laughs> uh, but it, it, was, it was an excellent, excellent experience uh, to have multiple voices of rival communicate with Gosric around uh you know what to do with your time and if you want to do good what does that look like and how does it how is it so much simpler than we sometimes we let it be mm -hmm. uh i just and, didn't realize we should have made masood do the entire recap like for half of this recap <laughs> uh -huh. it's true we should have. yeah honestly i can do it I will for, yeah, yeah you I'll, do the I'll, rest I yeah i will do the, the rest, rest until we, you took it back over Absolutely. there it is i think this is a, a brilliant use on your all part um, and from there, after spending some time with Rival and basically just telling her, do what you want, as long as you're helping people, um, sort of giving the reference and maybe not the best d direction, which might have led to some murders, uh, as, as I see Latia's face look at me. Um, <laughs> no, 100%. Uh, and um, afterwards, Gosrick out in the woods, after spending some time getting comfortable uh, and building... Um, a le less of a curmudgeon shell about being a, a aid to those around him heard that the rivals needed his aid out in uh on the island of Schult. something had gone wrong they were captured or something occurred and gosrick in his uh lack of a single insight check on the note on the yep. messenger on anything was like okay they need me they, they, they yeah. i told them I told them I was going to be out in the woods. I left the note. This is how they get in contact with me. All right, we got it. To, uh, to be clear, since she's here now, the note specifically said that Dahani had gotten in trouble in Chult, mm -hmm. and the rest of us were already headed out that way, and you needed to meet us. Exactly. exactly. Okay, that's a little more believable. Than <laughs> yeah, I saw you dying down shot. there, yeah. and I was like, I should let her know. <laughs> People left notes, and Gosrick trusted the note system. Uh, and with that, oh, one of my... Truly, the greatest moments of tabletop that I've ever experienced. Uh, arriving on a boat where oh. all the other GMs played NPCs, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, who probably were Zanlocks. Uh, now looking back on it in some capacity, uh, I like oh, it hot. Yeah, I like it hot. Was a great, 
we don't even know that guy's name, but he nope. likes it hot. Uh, they all had hoods on. They all had hoods, they all had hoods on, on the entire time. Mm-hmm. From you know, was, yeah. Was, yeah. Um, eventually, Gosrick sat uh, in a chair in his uh, that was supposed to let him relax and enjoy the rest of the journey. No, uh, no, that no. Yeah, we gave Gosrick a throne on which to tell stories. <laughs> yeah, about, yeah, yeah, about socialism. We talked about the, like the Formian <laughs> Union and socialism and Rar, yeah, building um, it out. Tried to unionize the crew of the ship Absolute, because Gosrick which... would not stop talking <laughs> there seemed to be a lack of real communication on wages on board and so gosrick really wanted to start that uh <laughs> uh afterwards um yeah. there was a beautiful sun uh embossed on the top of the chair um that gosrick uh sat down and sort of put his head next to and uh was tricked at the last moment to discover <laughs> That the sun was none other than a uh, Xanathar sigil. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I okay. was there reveal. immediately. <laughs> it, the tendrils on the outside, its eye yeah. stalks also opening to de- uh, display. Light displaying off of them in a way of a crown, uh, a halo, if you will. <laughs> and sure. Then uh, a series of checks happened on to see whether or not Gazra could maintain awareness of what was happening to them while they were becoming a golem um and in that discovered a little bit um well i think that's uh that's kind of where the handover happened right like sort of coming out awaking <clears throat> and asking gosrick what were some of the things that he remembered from uh their time inside the golem and some of the things they mentioned uh, uh i'll give you guys this uh were about the process of what it meant for them to be there, like sort of being the core of the storm to maintain the power uh, influx that was happening into the volcano for whatever reason that the Xanathar had in mind. Um, Snapshots of conversations with uh, the Xanathar, Lairn, um, that Gazrick at the time didn't know who they were, just to describe them as a tiefling um, sort of running around and so, and then the, uh, like another individual that Gosrick never got a look at, but the group there was sort of really uh, the core. And there was a moment where Gosrick constantly referred to the Xanathar as master. Um, and there was a questioning of that. What does that mean? What is the sort of reasoning behind it? Uh, and we talked a little bit about it in the app, in the post show. So if you're a Patreon uh, member and are in the chat, maybe you can spoil that for folks. But if not, leave it to your own devices. Don't ruminate that for folks. <laughs> <laughs> ruminate on it. Uh, start writing some slash fiction based on it. Whatever you think is worthwhile. Uh, Definitely not that. Yeah. Um, so from there, we move forward and um, talking a little bit about the process of what is happening inside the actual volcano, um, noticing that there are there's a portal to Waterdeep at its base, but other than that, not really knowing what was happening. And I think from after that, uh, Gazra kind of went into uh, the Damsel Fly under Rival's care and to rest and recuperate because being in the throne took quite a little bit out of them exhausted not really able to cast or be of use to y'all um decided to rest up in the ship there walter and uh i don't believe you well walter ended up being your uh tour guide of the island to lead you into uh where the peaks of fire that's correct the name of the the volcano range it threw the peaks of fire after spending some time uh, growing up and being in the area. And I'm sure Dahani can fill in on any gaps now that they're back. <laughs> Y'all made your way inside. Um, did I miss anything from the outside of the volcano? Don't think so. Mm-mm. No? Okay, cool. Well, then you all made your way inside and you overheard a conversation between two individuals, oh, one of which you right. immediately recognized as being uh, Lairn and the other one, only one of you knew from sight. Um, and the rest of y'all, as you watched, uh, what seemed to be a little bit of a family dispute. Well, how dare someone engage in deals with the Xanathar? What do they mean? Like, what are they doing? Don't they know they're being used? The other one pushing back, all at the crux of them sort of being pushed out of their family for access to magical abilities. At that last moment, the individual who, at this point, we can say, uh, their name 
Dante, standing, looking up, sees his brother Virgil on the bench and describes with a look uh, uh, <laughs> way up there, uh, sort of looking down on them and with exasperated face said, great. That's what happened last week. I have to go. <laughs> no, you can't. No, please don't. Yeah. Okay. Did I engineer the season to happen in a volcano with a man named Dante? We didn't plan it that way, but here we are. Here we are. Sharif, leave this call right now. <laughs> I know, I love it. Wait, there's so many layers to this. It's Dante's yeah. Inferno. Inferno. Dante's Pete. Virgil and Dante from Devil May Cry. I could go on. Yep. I'm just like, how much Devil May Cry did you play to pl play to plan? No, that? none. I just know about literary history. I thought it was. Yeah, I thought we were going literary, but like, yeah, that's, that's exactly what I was. Nope. Let's see. said. Let's see. Said. Devil May Cry. After they said Devil May Cry, that is also very fair. Yeah. And part of me was originally thinking about what is one of Virgil's contemporaries, but I was like, I don't know that. I do know Dante. <laughs> I don't know that. Well played. <laughs> well played is right. Dante and Virgil comes from know. literary first. So. Right. All good. All good. Wow. wow. But I mean, uh, that, speaking of which, uh, Virgil, <laughs> tell the folks what Dante looks like. Oh, goodness. Um, so, he is, uh, for the record, your younger brother. Yeah. yeah, Brian, tell us what your younger brother looks like. Go. Oh, geez, this is so mean. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> there, there is there. There's a strong like you can tell that they're kin. There's a strong family resemblance, but mm -hmm. it essentially it's not like they're just a younger version. Um, they are. Um, wow, yeah. See, like having to describe another member of my family is like, well, it's us, obviously. Like, yeah, you know, right. It's a, it's a southern <laughs> thing. Y'all like obviously the, kin. Like, yeah, exactly yeah. right. <laughs> um, In my head, when I was like, well, you see Virgil's portrait, right? It kind of looks like shorter that. and yeah. with less um, hair. <laughs> yeah, shorter, shorter, definitely, definitely, um, shorter hair, a more sense, like a more sensible haircut. Um, yeah. and so it's like it, it's short with a bit of a fade, and. For somebody who is younger than Virgil, somehow that is not apparent. Like he looks more, he looks more haggard. He looks more stressed. Perhaps it's just because of the, like the anger and annoyance that he holds. Um, mm -hmm. And you know, as, <laughs> as, as was mentioned, yeah, he's no. Okay. I'm not going to say it out loud. Yes, I am. Um, he's like, the, he's like the straight brother. So, you know. Yeah, we know you said he's shorter and has sensible hair. <laughs> yeah. Y'all know, know from skincare. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the lack obviously, of yeah. obviously the adherence to the adherence to like the family business and being yeah. concerned about that, it shows, which is, you know, like it shouldn't be, you shouldn't see someone that age, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, when you're not, when you're, yeah. When you're evil, as Tanya says in the chat, when you're evil, black does in fact crack. Right. And the thing about, as you look and get a closer view, actually like hone in on Dante, you see some things that are in fact new other than age. There's a scar over his uh, left eye, over some sort of fight he must have gotten in over the years. There are other sort of like nicks and marks across uh, his hands. Um, but one thing is clear is that he's wearing the Zor family crest proudly on his coat. His long duster as it sits down over his uh, regular sort of like simple garb underneath a white and blue with a long black and uh, duster over top with the sigil looking prominent. As he looks down, uh, makes eye contact and you see for a moment he actually takes you in. How long has it been since y'all seen each other? I'm trying to like wait, hold on Virgil's age now. Um it's been at least a decade, probably fifth, probably yeah, it's probably at least a decade. Yeah. If uh, at least 10 years since you all have sort of interacted with one another in some capacity. Um and in this moment as he's looking at you sort of trying to say I'd even say two. I'd say uh, like you think it's 10 years, but if you actually do the math it's going to be closer to like 20. Um, particularly maybe because it's, you look down and you see Laren and realize you weren't there for their birth. Oh, huh. yeah. How else would you have not recognized them in the street the moment you saw them, you know? 
Not that everyone looks like their baby, of course, but some ways you do. Uh, <laughs> uh, but at this moment, Dante looks up at you. Um, Laren sees his eyes, follows it, sees you. Their eyes widen, and he begins to dart. Dante says, no, and tries to reach for him when uh, Laren casts Gust quickly with his hands, knocking uh, Dante onto the ground as Laren takes off down a hallway. None of that went how I thought it was going to. Wow. Um, all right, we're up on we're up on like an observation kind of thing. Yeah, sort of a platform down. Um, is there anybody else down there? Or it was just the two of them. I mean, you can try and see, make a perception check if there was anyone else uh, happened me, to be there. Me, what check do I need to use my eyes? It's yeah, my favorite thing when okay. the DM's like, I mean, you could play D and D if you wanted. I, yeah, sorry, no, I just like I refuse. I'm looking with my. I'm looking with my eyes for my eyes. Apparently, are 15 looks good. 15 looks good, and in that moment of the 15, I mean, you. It, it's not open sea. You can't see the horizon in every direction and notice something slightly awry. But from the cavern of this uh, volcano, the actual like cooled bed of magma on which uh, Dante is slowly picking themselves up from. You don't happen to notice anyone else. Um, yeah, Virgil will fly down mm -hmm. to to uh, to deal with this uh, family history. That mm -hmm. wow. Uh, Sleece yeah. just looks to Kent. Did did you know about? I mean, about the existence of yes. Anything else? Mm, not really. Because is that his older brother? No, younger. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, no, I know. He looks rough. It's what happens mm -hmm. when you're evil. I mean, but we're all brown. <laughs> so, wow, he must have done some real bad things. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's how I <laughs> keep I Life, I lifestyle, lifestyle choices. <laughs> that's that's you know? what I said. <laughs> I mean, Tear got me in his pocket. So, I, I love that. Like... Even in this universe, everyone yeah. is still melanated in some capacity. Yeah. Yeah. Except for Walter, who's like <laughs> Walter is obviously like a dove, Eric Okra. Walter, yeah. I thought Walter was like a bald, like bald. Eagle. Oh, you're right. The bald. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Walter is regal. Right. Yeah, yeah. regal so he's so. kind of brown. And if his age shows, it's in a like a nice, like honorable way. You sure. Know? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Wow. Um, um, I do. I. Uh huh. I, yeah, I, I have so I many questions. Lie. I kind of want to follow him, though. I am a little concerned that he flew off, and we're all still up here. Well, I can't fly. So well, I mean, I can't either. We'll figure it out because this is thing we can climb. Like, what's the what's the approach for those of us who cannot fly? You uh, so uh, while you are up here, you can like kind of slide down. I, I mean, like I'm going to say it's a low dexterity check to sort of amble down this yeah, cliff side. Can it be acrobatics? It can be acrobatics if you right. would like to do it with some flair. It's Kent. It's Kent, <laughs> of course. <laughs> It's a setup, um, y'all. <laughs> I'm going setup. to use athletics because my acrobatics is not as good as athletics. Okay, absolutely. Um, as soon I as I can you, see what I'm doing. I would like you to Hulk jump just <laughs> straight down. I put Fenris on my back like a backpack. Yeah. And what just do roles? superhero jump. Uh, yeah. I grab... Got a 28. What do I... I did. I got a 28. So okay. I grab like a flat piece of shale mm -hmm. or something that I find and I use it as like a... Mm, and I use it as a uh, surfboard kind of thing and just like ride it down mm -hmm. uh, and then just sort of jump off neatly when it gets to wherever I need to go. Incredible. A little hang tang action at the very yeah. front. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that'd be a 27. I like seven. A 27. In amazing. And so as... Uh, Eugenio, your character Kent is on the top of the shale, sliding down, yeah. and literally just takes a step off yeah. smoothly on yeah. the landing, sort of moving forward. We watch uh, Celise with a twenty-seven. What is tw uh, you succeed on whatever you plan to do? Tell me, what did you do to quickly make your way down? Remind me, we do have Fenris with us, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, I just tap my back, and Fenris climbs up like like a backpack. <laughs> Oh, I love and it. I do I do a running leap yes. and just like superhero land like Hell yeah. just and just like gently let Fenris climb down just kind of dust myself off and I look up like mm. come on uh 
with your 27, you land smoothly, but you don't roll, obviously, because yeah. you've got Fenris on your back. You got to be careful. All the impact lands directly on the floor of Maga, cracking open. Um, <laughs> you land with a lot of force. It does crack beneath you. And if anyone would like to investigate that, I'm going to like let you all have the uh, investigation based on that. Um, Can I use my 27? Yeah. I, I don't think, I, I don't think you could. <laughs> I, I very vigorously and yeah, 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 yeah. As, as an athlete, one must <laughs> be an aware of the stories. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I've been so. in all this with a nine point eight times. <laughs> oh, now we're really <laughs> playing D and D. Yeah, that's right. Let's do it. That's right. Let's no, no, do it. This is the negotiation oh, part here, of D and D. Uh, if there's something worth looking at, I will also help check it out. While well, I guess Tahani can just sort of oh, float down. Well, and... uh, Shaka gets a twenty eight on their investigation. Wow. Uh, Kent gets an 18. Ooh. I don't get an 18. I actually get a 24 because I'm Ooh. proficient in investigation. Nice. I very, was just very waiting cool. for everybody else to go down before I went down in case anybody needed my assistance getting down. There was I think Walter chance. helps uh, Shaka. Uh, 18 on yeah. investigation. Perfect. Okay. If a Walter mm. helps me, I almost want to take back. My... No, no, no. He didn't help me. <laughs> well, what do you... What... I was going to ask, how does Shaka get down? But I was going to give you, like, the Walter just aids you. And sort of like getting down there, but if you want to take your or, own or uh, not dexterity, it's a low dexterity check. Um, just to see how you do get climbing down. Uh, I mean, you know, it's just I, I, I don't think it's too fancy. You know, okay. just a pretty standard. Uh, you know, uh, give me the roll. Climb down. Yeah, give me the roll. The suspense. the suspense. I know, right? <laughs> it's too late now for me to make the anticipation joke. I should have done it right. before when we started. <laughs> do you oh, uh, I'm rolling again? Oh, I'm no, sorry. do you? Uh, yeah, yeah, just to call oh. the investigation is separate. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh. I said it quietly. I was like, yeah, make the roll. I heard <laughs> what you wanted to do. Just make the roll. Uh, so, so that's athletics, right? If you can do athletics, you can do uh, oh, acrobatics. acrobatics, whatever it gets okay. you down easily. If you want to flip down uh, or if you want to cast uh, flight on yourself, feather fall, <laughs> yeah, you got but... seven. Unfortunately, it wasn't. It's like rolling dice, right? Seven. Yeah, we're rolling dice. Uh, you're, I think, I like that the investigation check happens first. <laughs> you see the crack and you look and you're <laughs> worried for a hot moment about what I jokingly said, magma erupting from underneath. But as you look, it seems cool. If anything, it sort of gets a little, like you sense it like colder. Uh, oh, and as you take a step forward, you you walk and ah, you trip a little bit, you, you tumble and you roll and you take, oh, it's not well. What? Wait, I said I was helping. Take four points of damage uh, falling on the way down. It was a D4. It's, it's just a slight stumble for you. <laughs> he did, you know, it was a little, <laughs> little slip on the booty. And then... slip on, you, you, it's, it's, <laughs> it's like a little booty slip. Okay. 30 feet down an incline. You know what I mean? You you land and, uh, and, and you land face first in front of the crack. Oh, and now you're looking at it. Well, yeah. And as you see it, you, you feel it even more so. The, there's almost like a vacuum effect happening deeper underneath that is pulling the air um that's what you get with your uh, 28 and your seven <laughs> uh tahani i imagine you fly yeah yeah uh dante watches the rest of y'all in this moment uh oh right virgil yeah. steps in front and the rest of you crowd around hasn't said a thing um just seems to be sizing Virgil up a little bit. Mm. Yeah, a lot of yeah, like it's essentially yeah. We did kind of come down like Virgil. Virgil like floated down, and everybody else came in with like the absolute super team like entrances yes. kind of thing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Virgil, you going to introduce us? I guess. I mean, you don't have to if. if Look, if we need to take care of your lightweight, that's what I'm made for. Nah, nah, it's fine. It's okay. I can handle oh. introducing myself. I don't need 
his assistance in that. Hi, Dante Zor. Nice to meet you. That's Dante Zor what? Uh, Dante. Oh. Oh. Zor, ruler. Of... Oh, it's two words. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's just ruler... seen if it's nice to meet you. Ruler of what now? So, the Zor family, you know. Oh. Thieves. Oh. Most eh. prominent members Ooh, of Pear Dude. Never heard of you. Hey. Oh. Oh, Wait. you're so prominent. Well, I mean, we do a lot of good work, okay? And Frank, frankly, who are you? I, I, I just said my name and I don't even know who you all. Excuse me, are you? I love the instant exasperation, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we tend to engender that. <laughs> like, and, the, 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 like, yeah. uh, and he points at Kent and says, Oh. Did you do a rat poison job? <laughs> so can't that's you, me. right? That's you. Conversation starter. I Damn. so Kent has been uh, uh, only eyes for Virgil this whole time because this is a new situation yeah. uh, that I have not experienced in our relationship. Uh, so that catches him totally off guard, like it did me just now. You and I think that's exactly what he does: is go. Uh, uh, Let's do what? a little flashback, Ken. Oh God! We flashback oh, no. to no, your first no. job. No, oh, first the guy. No, wait a minute. What do you mean first job? Which first job? <laughs> the Caradoon job. Oh. You knew you arrived. We talked about when you arrived on location, but we never talked about who gave you it. How did you hear about it? And so, what was it like? being who you were looking for odd jobs in Caradoon. How did you get in that position? Well, so I'd left archaeology behind a while back. Uh, too many sort of bad memories. Uh, and so it was not really like a looking for a job thing so much mm -hmm. as I drank a lot in this tavern. Yeah. Uh, and the owner kept complaining about the rats in the, in the cellar. Mm -hmm. um, and one day, I think... It was a combination of like, I am so tired of not being able to drink without hearing about these damn rats. Mm -hmm. And also like, okay, but this is like, I know how to fix this. I can yeah. do this. Like a little spark of like, maybe somewhere in the, in the bottom of those pint glasses, there was a little bit of like, oh, maybe I can be useful and do something here. And so uh, go ahead. I think this is a great moment. You, we look back at a very much younger looking Dante polishing uh steins no, 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 as he no, no, says no, no. oh like yeah i mean no 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 if, no if you think you can handle it if you really think that you <laughs> got it i i really uh it's been a struggle i mean obviously caradoon there are rats everywhere you go to any of these big cities there's gonna be rats you know what i mean and i uh just kind of been doing what i can but um mm. if you think you yeah. can handle it i mean it's rats and like just one room of them and like Caradoon's not that big a city like yeah I'll take care of it just, I, just another no okay you got hey you drink free it, it, come by tomorrow went a little sober <laughs> and uh you handle this and afterwards we'll take care oh, of you think I can take care of these rats while with a little few few drinks I I think you should you think? celebrate your job uh my my friend and I don't want you working while you're on uh, while you're having a good time Okay. Just have, yeah. It's my new friend. And I, I, I have a good feeling about this. We cut to his smile immediately sort of flipping upside down <laughs> in perfect reaction. It was like, huh. Okay. When my tavern went under and my older brother, who is set to inherit the family, disappeared, I had to become leader of the family. Step in. So, I love that you all are now just like this, like, what, 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 what do you all call yourself? What, what, what is this, an adventuring team? Are you all adventurers? We're a problem. <laughs> this I know. Really? One of you, yeah, yeah, clearly, because what have you, in I, you know, I didn't expect it. So are you going to say nothing? So question before before yeah. we get to to Virgil finally yeah. confronting his brother. Yeah. When you said that he's shorter, is he shorter than Salise? Because Salise is tall for a human. Salise and Virgil are right about the same. Right. So your height, brother. So yeah. brother would be shorter. Yeah. He's five six. 
I'm going to go stand over this man because I am taller. Perfect. So you're looking uh, at my head now? Uh, yes, I'm the fit. You have muscle to like intimidate now? Great. No, I do that leave? all on my own. <laughs> I is, like it virtual true. It's true. It's this true. It's good. true. It's hard to get loyal supporters like that. And I and I and I admire that something's going to change. Don't don't don't. No, no, no. no. You got yourself don't, your don't crew. Do don't. You're running your own syndicate probably, no, no, you know. No, no. This is not that. Oh. Mm -hmm. You are the only one of us who takes after father here. Maybe one of us had to. Not all of us had a chance to just whisk away on a boat, okay? Whisk away? Oh, yeah. What, what, what else would you call it? You're gone one night, you leave me a note, you say, oh, I can't do this, don't mention where I go, and then you're gone. I think the constant years of being shamed, of being looked down upon, of being treated like a pariah simply because I had magic, had that, a little that, something to do with my leaving. That is because of grandma you know that you know what it did to the family and he oh, oh shit now we got grandma in it <laughs> it, it broke him the moment the magic entered our family and zora had to rebuild itself everything fell apart when we tried to do everything kind of turned into the rat poison job when the moment magic was introduced Okay, the, you know what? For, don't just just like can we forget about the rat poison job or you? No, know, I wish I could because I would love to still have you. my okay. tavern. I would love to just be a tavern keeper. <laughs> I would love to just do what I want. But no, instead I've got a kid who doesn't listen to me, who honestly takes more after you. And and <laughs> I'm leaning on his head. Sorry. By the way, this is killing yeah. me. Um, okay. I am not here to debate the business decision of you deciding to give a very simple job to a very drunk adventurer in your tavern. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, honey. Oh, no, 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 no. Tell honey. No, I mean, I was. Oh, of course. This nice, nice night. Couldn't shoot a little bit upper in the quality. Oh, Virgil, I Virgil cast gust on him under the yeah. police and knocks him down again. Okay. Yes. Yes. I think <laughs> I think everybody jumped for him at that moment. Yeah. Just, <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Because I'm taller and because I'm physically bigger, I pick him up so that his feet are not touching the ground. Okay. Make a grapple check. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't worry. Let it. Just oh. the athletics. Yeah. Oh. And he'll make a counteracting uh, dexterity roll. Just so you know, I've got a plus nine on athletics. Go for it. Go. Oh, was that a challenge? No, no, I'm, I'm literally saying just you, go for the it. One that, you're the one that threw the plus nine out first. I mean, uh, I've got a 21. <laughs> well, he gets a 20, dirty. Unfortunately, doesn't make it. And a plus 15 on his stat. So it is a Wow. Stun. Yeah. Wow. I built a stat sheet. Don't worry about what he's good at. It's That's... dexterity mainly, which is why I was so confident. Um... <laughs> <laughs> well, amazing. You know, I got you. Oh, he he struggles, and, and, and at the last moment, as you're gripping on him, he says, "Fine, fine." I literally, all I've said is words, and now you're manhandling me, and now you're throwing me around. Yes, because you insulted two people I care about. You called me mere muscle. I'm a paladin of tear. Thank you very much. And I do believe that paladins look poorly upon people doing evil. Are all paladins this bloodthirsty, though? Because it feels Some. like you're... Vengeance is a valid path to what I do. You know what? If I'm supposed to die by my brother's hands, how poetic. Just go do it, Virgil. Just, <laughs> just do it. Do it. And then when you're done... <laughs> Just promise me that you will. You don't even have to go back to Caradun. Just, just protect Laren. Yeah, and I'm just, just confused. Wait, wait, okay, yeah. No, so, um, so I'm just down. like, is that you sure? Down? You sure? Okay, I, I, I drop him. <clears throat> we could go back and forth all day, but we are here mm. because there's a problem 
happening here. I don't want to dis- I What have you gotten the family into now? Nothing. I did nothing. Lairn has put all this together. I sent him on a simple job. Okay, we were supposed to start lifting some goods from Waterdeep's uh, the City of the Dead. Okay, the, we found out through some means that there was a lack of uh, protection on it, and I thought Laren could handle it. Okay, he wanted to be contributing to the family. He wanted to do more stuff, and he may have mentioned feeling like an outsider because of his magic and i said fine this is a chance for you to prove yourself okay chance for you to do your thing if you want to do it prove it because hey what did dad do to us threw us in the ocean we learned how to swim yeah and you thought that that was a great pattern to replicate what a fantastic job you've done as a father it made me we said we wouldn't pick her and i am going to cho- be choose once again take the high road on this I love say, making a character say they're taking the high road. It's really, like, <laughs> okay, I'm ready for this. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so he worked. He came over here, and he said that he had an idea. He met someone that kind of inspired him. Oh. And mm. then things started happening. Some of the goods started arriving. Well, when the first shipment arrived, I was like, oh, great. He, he, he followed the tracks. He used the currents correctly to get things out. And then we were short. And then we were really short. And then they stopped coming. And so I checked him in on him. I reached out. I followed and um, see him here with those robes on, with that sigil. We cut deals. You know we have to. We know you know we, we make those deals. And I thought I had taught him better than to get involved with deals involving magic. Get involved with anything involving magic. We can't trust it. But no, he goes out of his way and he makes a deal with that thing. And now he thinks he's got it. He thinks he's got the answer to everything. There's so much to unpack here. I can't help think if you had perhaps treated him a little better than I was treated, this wouldn't have happened. I treated However, him better than you were treated. I would, would you, you think I, you think I didn't hear you? You don't think I didn't see you when I saw what dead? I never put my hands on him. I never did anything. I never, I, just encouraged him not to do magic. Is and that so the, hard? Yes, actually. That's impossible. Do you not? Uh, thank you. Yeah. It's like, mm. yeah. And then the height of folly to decide to get involved in Waterdeep and not account for all the factors, including getting played by the Xanathar. Oh, oh, like I was supposed to know that he would deal with the number one person I told him not to. Um, we all he's, know he's, about He's it. your son, and you as his dad told him not to do a thing. So he should listen to me. At this point, speaking of uh, not casting uh, uh, or of, of staying away from magic being very difficult, Kent is going to just say, you are a, are you joking? And as he says joking, the word joking comes out in silver letters. I need Dante to make a wisdom saving throw because I accidentally just cast hideous laughter on him. Perfect. Uh-oh. Oh, I love this. Family. What do you know? Oh, I'm real torn because he's right. Laren shouldn't have trusted the Xanathar, but also he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nine plus two. Okay, so uh, Dante, as I as the as the word joking sort of uh, uh, glitters in silver and then turns into like little translucent feathers, uh, 
that begin to tickle Dante and Dante falls to the ground laughing. He can make another wisdom saving throw every six seconds, but until then he is laughing and incapacitated and prone. What does he have to beat eventually? I think a 17. A 17, okay. Well, I'm going to roll a number of die. Okay. And we will find out how long he stays under or until you release him. Just while so I know this how... is while this is happening, <laughs> yeah. can I go find Lair? If you'd like to go search for him, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'll go find Lair. Yeah, he ducked off. Okay. Kinda... You know, actually, the first one was an 18. So okay, that so he's only down there for a few seconds. He's only down there for a few seconds. He's like... <laughs> uh, this is why I don't like magic, okay? No one makes me laugh when I don't want to laugh, all right? That's, that's, what is that? I don't know. Speaking of not being able to control magic that is suddenly inside of you. A laughter? Stop it, it, Virgil. Okay. Why are you here? Wait, all of us or just? Well, I, mean, I assume. Who, yeah, I'm sorry. Who was he saying that to? <laughs> well, I, um, he, it's, it's, you're the leader of the group, so I'm assuming. <laughs> the, the... Okay, that's not that is not how this works. However, because of your son's deal with the Xanathar, our friend became a part of it and has completely changed the forces. The 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 forces on this. What? we're in a volcano that shouldn't that we shouldn't be in what she said it's cold oh and so you're a local so this matters to you i get that okay right but also our friend got kidnapped and used for yes yes no they're just mm mm-hmm how do you know? Is it just because I'm in Eric Hoker that you assume oh, that I'm right, local? Right, right, right. Well, okay. yeah, we should go back to that. What do you mean? I, what, what, what? You do okay. know Eric Hoker come from other places besides. Yes, that. and oh, if right. I'm in another place, I'm assuming that. But I was it wrong for me to assume? Yes. While I'm in Schultz. What? You, yes. Okay. I have been a water Davian for several years. Thank you. Ah, that's that word. The atrocious word. That makes sense. Everything atrocious. is polluted with water <laughs> no. dot. Wait, the word itself? Or? It is actually the word. Kind of weird, it is to be a honest. Bad. It yeah, is a little weird. It's yeah. Weird. Okay. It's just looking at all of you like. We're just having, well, like, some, like, we have to bond over one tiny thing before we kill him. I mean, before we negotiate with him, it's fine. <laughs> oh, killing? No. <laughs> He's not yet. Not yet. He's, he can oh, still no. just to Laird. Dante, obviously, you will recognize this as a deal gone bad. Yes. What's your plan? I thought I could. Thought he'd listen. I thought if I if I if he was just honest and I how to him, old is Laird? Uh, Laird oh. is it like a late teen from what we've yeah. seen of him? What in that about, sort of about your son as a late teen? Did you think meant he would listen to and do everything you said? I mean, what ju- uh, how I mean, absurd especially after you basically shunned him for having magic I, n- you're all nope. you're like you're like learn conceal don't feel don't let it show and now you know and don't let it go now he's free he has let it go i hate all of you <laughs> no you don't i really i really should have just and him- the cold doesn't bother him anyway clearly because we're in this volcano i really hate all of you Oh. oh my god okay it's good it's a good moment that yeah, good uh, moment. let it be known two season finales two musical numbers <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, my god so um, D- laren looks at you uh, in this moment of all you rhyming it's like is this like a mantra that you all have for whatever i i get it i was not the best dad okay but it's a lot when suddenly the tavern goes under and the woman who you're oh with, God. whose dad gifted you the tavern, leaves you because the tavern oh, went under. That's and now I you're a solo you dad. Were. And you're running the family of Zor. And it, it, I have so- no one, bro. I was by myself. Okay. 
You, you know have what's all amazing, friends, Dante? You, you know what's amazing, folks. Dante? <laughs> is there are so many people in the world, some of them in Cara Dune, who lose their business and have to raise a child on their own, and they don't turn into thieving monsters who get our friends kidnapped by beholder crime lords. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. I may be a lot it's of for things. horses. I may be a lot of things. Uh, I am thieving. Uh-huh. I am no monster. Okay, well. Sure. We can super argue the specifics of that designation once we've, I don't know, made the volcano hot and gotten your son out of there. Maybe not in that order. <laughs> yeah. What? Okay. Then has, has Laren told you what, what the plan is? What, how do we stop what's happening so we can get him out of here? I don't know how to stop it. I wasn't trying to stop it. I was just trying to get him out of here. Oh. But he refused to leave. Probably I He's not yeah, even at, he was not even enthralled. At this the most point, insulting I'm gonna go thing look for him. I'm going to go look for him. Now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gee, he didn't listen to you. He was such a loving and supportive father. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't even have come here if that letter hadn't arrived. Honestly, if it hadn't arrived what letter? what letter? Well, he wrote me a letter no, saying that he was on show and he wanted me to see it. And then when I got here, he denied even sending me the letter. And then Wait. I saw the sigil and everything that was happening. So oh bad at this, Dante. Oh you didn't write the letter. You got lured here, just like our friend Gosrig. Wait, there's another one of you? Oh God! How We're large not so is your crew? Explain. How many people do you? We don't it's sell six. crew. It's Chill. not the organization. It's not an operation. We are just, just it. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> you know what? Eh, Walter's tomorrow. like, what do you all do? Invest in back to rival. Where you come from? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Walter is getting great material for his next like epic yeah. poem right now. <laughs> uh, fine, fine, fine. If, if you're here, someone's been pulling way too many strings. If you're here, it is very mm -hmm. likely a trap for you. I would suggest, strongly suggest, you pull out all family resources and leave. No. We will find Lair. Oh. No, I do. I'm not going to leave my son here. We will find Lairn. Awesome. I agree. We will find Lairn. Let's go. Let's do this. Is, does Dante seem to be sporting anything that would indicate that he is in any way a capable adventurer? I mean, you see a cutlass on his side and a particular set of knives across his uh, belt. And like his dexterity is high for whatever reason, if that's any indication. Uh, yeah, he's I guess like just like bouncing on the balls of each foot. Like he's just. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, unfortunately, unfortunately, and I hate to do this to you. Dexterity does not apply to feet. It only applies to finger nimbleness. If you look at the term dexterity, I yeah, like, I, 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 bit, there's yeah, no term. Look, to what skill. are yeah. toes but foot fingers? That's also very fair. You know, Wait, it was that? Oh, go ahead, Burns. Like, it's out of character. I mean, that's a good point. Having yeah, a, a, a grammar point. moment. <laughs> I just wondered who was saying that. Was that the DM saying <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. We're now getting whispering. into the dissertation <laughs> of, right? yes, so apparently from the DM description, Dante appears yeah. capable-ish. It's been two decades of him running a thieve syndicate. He's picking yeah, up but, some things. Yeah, but running doesn't necessarily mean he's going out. But if he's got the if he's got the accoutrement, he at least won't be like a burden should it come to blows. Like he seems to have the means to defend himself, which at this point, like that's good enough for me. I don't care if he's any good at defending himself, just that yeah. he can. Virgil Virgil just fixes Dante with a look and says, fine. But the last thing that I want today is for another son to lose their father. Oof. Have you, oof. Have you been down there yet, Dante? No. I just, I like literally just got here. And right. I saw Laren standing here and Let's he was go. like pacing back and forth. And then he took off. Oh, well, he was probably just as surprised to see you as we are. Except we're not. Shall we? You yeah, didn't even know who I was. How, I, as, like, as, as it's been going on, I'd say Shaka is pretty early, has uh, removed himself from this entire conversation. Heck yeah. He seemed very uh, uh, family stuff, which makes Shaka feel very like awkward, even though it is somewhat Xanathar-like related. 
Mm-hmm. Um, so he's been kind of looking at the environment and seeing one, if he could see anything that might identify where Lyrin is from. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, 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 the other, if he can see anything that indicates any, um, any other uh, clues as to why this is cold, right? As, 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 as to why the temperature sure. change. Um, I think the magic of the coldness is coming from someplace lower than where you currently are. Yeah, un- under the crack. And you did watch Laren run down an odd sort of tunnel. And as you're pondering this, you can get closer to the actual tunnel face. And you see, as you look upon it, there are runes inscribed the actual archway. If you want to give me an arcana check. Yeah. Yeah, and Gosric, Gosric, before taking a rest, did sort of describe the kind of magic that he was being forced to do to change things here. Oh, let me look at for whatever reason, the dice rolls don't generate oh. audio for me. Um, oh, no, it's a 12. a 12. No, no, that's no, cool. Um, and also for our podcast listeners. So you get a 12, and in this moment, um, you look at it, and you can't really tell a lot of the magic that like the sigils mean, but you do turn into a detective, and you put a couple things together. Um, this magma bed cooled. If it wasn't cool, it would be incredibly hot to stand anywhere near this door in whatever capacity. As you look on it, you see a bit of a recess in the actual wall where it feels like the earth slid into. This is not the first time someone has used this door, but it might only be the second that it's ever been accessed. Hmm. I touched the... You're super quiet and kind of trail off. I didn't really hear that. Oh, sorry. Um, I want to. Uh, sorry, Mike's acting weird today. Yeah. Um, I want to touch the rune door. The, so there is. It's just an archway now. Oh, but you, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like there are runes on this, uh, like sigils okay. on the arch on the outside. Okay, I'm gonna start walking down the archway. Perfect. It is where Laren run uh, ran down. So if you want to continue on that pathway, go for it. Um, yeah, because like I'm assuming, I mean, I'm not, I'm not too far from the rest of the no party, so like they would see me. Unless and also, unless you want to roll a stealth check, no, no, to no. not have them see you, sort of like. No, I'm not trying to be. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. not trying to be stealthy. I'm just not interested really mm-hmm. in this uh, brotherly uh, argument. And uh, as it's happening, it, like it's going back and forth. You also see duo drifting right next to you, oh. kind of silently, still holding the sigil forward. Um, as they're walking their way. Okay, so so uh, du- duo is also walking down the tunnel at pace with you. Oh, if I stop, does a duo stop? Duo uh, stops. He's still pointing in that direction, not saying a thing. You could try okay. asking him something. Well, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say I'm a I'm 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 a turn to him and like say, you have an idea what's down there. me which is weird because i am me here and so it is it's a little harder what is a me but you know let's i'm gonna not think about that let's let's keep Uh, walking yeah (laughs) yeah and you see the cut like truly like he's dimming a little bit in his ethereal presence whatever the the strongest length of him knowing that he was a ghost is what's keeping him sort of in this space and the closer he gets to it it's it's becoming harder for him to actually justify that um what does it mean for him to have a corporeal form well he doesn't know that corporeal form is alive yet so maybe he just thinks his corpse is down here somewhere right right, right. (laughs) that's what i'm counting on for right now because between all the family drama i don't also need duo having an existential crisis there's a lot of crises happening right now there's a lot going on and what a family Uh, (laughs) as you guys Um, oh yeah i assume you follow behind uh shaka yeah i would have expected that shaka at the at 
among us at the least shaka would have already gone to investigate so yeah. since dante seems determined to stay with us then we're just gonna go head down that way as well so and you see shaka and duo sort of taking the front and everyone sort of follows along i assume while taking been, up the rear i've been trying to go but every time dante opens his mouth i just yep. get matter yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's been amazing to watch <laughs> uh as you guys go, a uh, grimace sets. It's it's silent. Um, what the hell is grimace doing here? That purple monster. <laughs> yeah, no, well, here. it's he's green now because it was just so they change him for St. Patty's to green. Uh, okay. Everyone, roll, give me a perception roll. No. Yay! Roll. Oh up. God, grimace is here. <laughs> While you're walking. <laughs> oh no. For grimace, um, grimace. So my eyes, my just eyes makes see me so for mad. eighteen units. Eighteen units. Uh, <laughs> it's not actually your eyes. I'm checking on. It's your ears. Well, uh, as oh, no. you hear a little conversation um, happening further along. No, I don't know why he's here. He said he got a letter. Well, I didn't send a letter. I didn't invite anyone to this. What What is going on here? Did you do this? And you hear a voice. One that Talise knows instantly. No, 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 no. Come on. It's Faye going, oh, no, okay. I would never. I have been loyal to you always throughout all of this. <laughs> well. So oh. who's going to grab me before I go on? Sorry, story? that was just audience laughter. That was not real laughter. Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, cool, 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 cool. I, I know that I was tasked with stopping you, but I got 11 on my perception check, so I don't know that I heard it. Oh, right. yeah, and I got a yeah. 10, so I didn't hear it either. Yeah. How many of us yeah, heard, but... I was going to say, how many of us heard that? Uh, and who got above a 15? Oh. Just oh, Virgil. Virgil. So Virgil. Virgil, whether or not you... Like, it's oh, other... did Celise not hear it either? Uh, what did, what did I hear? told you what I got. That's yeah. why I was like, oh, I, I know This it. is the danger of rolling physical die with other die. I love okay. the chat. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, that 27 does not apply to this role unless you just want to let it ride. Uh, no, 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 I no, rolled no, no, this roll. It's, it's a six. I think it is what's happening. Um, oh, did um, ahead of us, did um, my lord, we all suck at perception. Okay, wow. So, I so <laughs> while, I while, love asking perception roles. while Shaka like, and Duo are still floating forward, like Virgil kind of stops for a moment and kind of puts a, puts a hand on both Celise and, and Kent's shoulders, like. It's Faye. I'm sorry, what? Jelma. And looking around, he realizes like nobody else kind of heard that, like that whispering through. And it's like, yeah, Kent is going to go, oh, I didn't think that sounded like Faye. You mean the one? Hold on a second. Uh, what is number is that? That's a three. Do you, are you talking about the, the voice that was telling the story about you and me? N no. Oh, never mind. Maybe I what? imagined it. Okay. <laughs> uh, so Kent, Virgil's going to have to do a strength check to keep Celise from bolting down the hall. <laughs> Kent is hearing voices, um, apparently. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. I, was, um, I don't know what's going on, but it seems like she's now changed her allegiance or perhaps always was working for the Xanathar. And he's, mm -hmm. he's deliberately being a little bit quiet since like he like essentially every single mention of the word xanathar he kind of doesn't want shaka to like yeah. get a little bit more the moment charged. you say the word xanathar a thousand <laughs> sigils like <laughs> yeah. oh my god <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm here for this interior design though yeah, yeah. Like, i'm good for that. that's awesome uh, like but do we does it work if i like say like xanathia so do uh, like, does that work? Like, like how well calibrated is it <laughs> right right <laughs> wow uh. So um, the minute you heard that, the minute you said it's Faye. Um, yeah, that's like, and Perfect. if you're going to yank at it, like, it's not a strength, like, he's not going to, like, stop you because, you know, he's really going to look over to Kent, like, I mean, I can try, but I listen, neither of us is stronger than her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, we don't have to stop her from confronting. We just maybe have to stop her from. Right. You know, oh, like, that's true. Know, saying, that's like, true. This is, this is, look, we had a difficult confrontation back then, which was full of, of drama and back and forth. And I really want to see where this is going now. Um, <laughs> wow. You I just, just need to spell the Virgil bonds Virgil is here for the drama. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> wow. OK. OK. <laughs> um, but no, it, it, he, he does let them know, like, it, it sounds like Faye and the Xanathar and Laren and I they're up ahead so 
we may as well just keep going. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, I don't know who Faye is. That doesn't really bother oh, We do not have time, Dante. Dante, oh. no. Just, yeah, just get, I, less, less. Um, should, should maybe, uh, maybe Dahani and I check ahead oh, just to see what the, like, I don't want to walk into a room with no door where they're facing straight at the entranceway that we walked. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you all move forward as a group. Uh, yeah. Just who? Someone's at the front of it, right? Like someone. Yeah. So the, I oh, think no, Dahani, do you want to come with? Yeah. yeah so so cool. so just for for you, Masu, the order currently is Shaka and Duo are ahead of the rest uh-huh. of us. Yeah. And yes. what we are thinking, what mm-hmm. Kent and I are thinking, are that we will turn invisible and go ahead of them. Absolutely. And okay. be like a. Just do a quick scout because we can get down there and back faster than anybody else. So perfect. We'll just we'll just jump ahead. They can start moving, but we'll go faster ahead. Make sure that like we aren't walking into a big open space where it will be very obvious that we're there and then we'll come back. And so as everyone else readies themselves in whatever capacity, I'm going to start describing what we see um, as you all sort of filter in. Can you give me how are you all doing this? Are you guys doing stealth rolls? Oh, yeah. Make your way inside. Give me these rolls. Uh, I'm kind of toward the back and I'm preparing the spell that I threw in backstage chat because I have that with my proper oath as a paladin. Mm-hmm. I get those uh, oath-based spells. Um, I got a 36. For yeah, I saw that. And a 20. <laughs> yeah. And a 21. Ooh, I like Oh no, these. stealth wow. is my worst one. That's fine. Well, You're in the rear group. It's just the two of them right now. Yeah, it's just the two yeah. of us. I mean, yeah. unless Shaka's oh, also coming too. It's so. just... You're not, yeah, you're, you're angry. You're not still. No, <laughs> this is good. This is good because no. we're, this is the order in which you guys are arriving. There's a rear, a front sort of unit. There's uh Shaka and duo. And then there'll be uh Virgil, Dante, Walter, and Solis sort of in that final group. Yeah. And, and just to let you know, I, I think Kent is too. We are both invisible. Perfect. Uh, I'm I'm trying to stick to the shadows. I don't want to use my ghost form yet. So you got a, well, that, you got a 36, dude. Yeah. You're invisible. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I am actually invisible. Yeah. With the yeah, 20 yeah. and the invisibility, <laughs> absolutely, it definitely aids to your benefit because as you all enter, uh, Kent, you are silent, ducking in certain ways, making it across. You come uh, into another cavern like the one before. It seems to be um, the tunnel had a slight decline to it. You're at a deeper point in and you see at the center of it Laren looking exasperated at the Xanathar standing in its center its eye stalks looking around um it they don't shift at all when you enter Tahani when you enter the space one of them looks for a moment and then passes and goes back all 10 focused on Faye and uh, uh Laren and you hear them sort of talking they is going, no, I've always been loyal to you. Ever since I came onto this, I've been. I support your mission. I mean, really, I, 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 I don't know, Faye. I, I want to believe you because like these, these, oh man, these rings you got me, they're great. They're really, they're really helpful. They boosted my stuff. Um, but I don't know because I, I, like, I, I know your history. I like. I know. I know you and and Solis used to have a thing, and you were like espionage, and so I thought you could do the job. I I just don't want to see them here. I I, I know right now Dante is, is Laren is just your dad, but I got a bad feeling for whatever. Re- I I just I really we can handle one intruder. We can handle one. It'll be totally fine. Okay, it's gonna be good. Um, it's gonna be great. <laughs> Um, we've, done a lot, we've done a lot to keep this from them. We did a really good job. Like, <laughs> man, <sighs> yeah. And then you, Bay, when you, when we had to clear out the Melchimber uh, for all their special artifacts to melt down to, you know, really channel the magic oh. to make me transverse the planes to kind of carry the Elder Worm's powers. I was really inspired by <laughs> you. You were so integral in building that. So I, I, I and like you even stayed behind. After we got all of our things, like you, you, you wanted to make sure things were set up, and and uh, I really appreciated that. You, you did that extra work, and I, man, you did so much, a good job in 
making sure that we got Gosrick sort of pulled away from everyone. Cause I mean, I just needed him. Oh, I just needed him for his magic. And oh man, I hope he's still doing a good job up there. He's been great when he's not been able to talk. I really, I've really appreciated oh, him well. for a lot of his qualities. <laughs> uh, um, got a lot of talent. Laird. Doc. Sorry, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, you know, in this moment, it's shocking with your 21. You're sort of moving forward. Uh, uh, as he turns to Laird and he's like talking, trying to reassure him. He's like, we've got Dante covered. We can handle your dad. Like, uh, like I've got, ta- I, we're going to be fine. We're close to our ascension here. We are going to achieve what we want to do. Shaka? Uh, Shaka's going to look back at, I mean, he's dealt with you, but he's going to look back at the rest of the group. Yeah. Um, and then yeah. he's going to run forward completely oh. unstealthily. Oh, yeah. Love it. Ooh, I mean, it is Shaka. Let's go. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't blame oh, him, though. He's finally here. Also, mm-hmm. let's I see. just found out that man melted down priceless archaeological see. artifacts. So I'm yeah. on board with this, Shaka. So, like, I'm, mm. I mean, like, you guys can try to stop me if you want. Nah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, this, it's, it's officially it's on time. So. Yeah. so he is breaking the stealth and just going to yeah. run forward uh, with his sword out. Is uh, you I love this. in like a Come Leroy charge. Jenkins way? Sure. Yeah, the rest of us are like, Shaka has a sword. Yeah, <laughs> the whole time, the time pulls out a sword. He runs running, and uh, you see the Xanathar hear a scream. Its ten eyes turn back, and all of them look up while the like its big eye tries not to believe what it knows is already behind it. Oh, God, as it turns eye. and it oh, sees right. Shaka, and it says, "No, how?" Uh, let's roll initiative. Yeah, I, I imagine we're coming out swinging, right? Like this is this yeah. what's happening. No, I'll give you guys a, a surprise round to have a moment to do what you're gonna do. Yeah, uh, but we'll fill out everything else from there. Okay, well that's good. That's that's great for me. I want I want to say while the rolls are happening for for mm-hmm. viewers and listeners in Masood, that was an excellent a bit of lore drop exposition. That was oh, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was great. <laughs> Into it. Like this. That's what. We're 15 episodes, what, six seasons of of yeah. exposition yeah. going on right now? Heck yeah. <laughs> We're rolling through it. Uh, Masood, I sent you Faye's character sheet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, although she is not leveled up and she was hurt, so you might want to fix that. No, I doubt she has been leveled up, but I will uh, all right. be um, useful. Initiative. Of- No, that oh. dice betrayed me. Fuck that Why one. Why can't I drag tabs? That's so terrible. <laughs> um, so I cast a thing. That is okay. like my bonus action. Okay. Uh, well, let me get um, initiatives really fast, and then we'll talk about what you all do before um, we go in. Uh, we've got a five. Uh, so anyone get above a 20? Let me roll for uh, Dante. Rude. Dante got a 22. Jesus Christ. Oh. Damn, Dante. I thought I had a good initiative modifier. But you know what? We're going to roll it forward. <laughs> I promised Kent would go first action because I skipped him. Oh, the that's combat. okay. No, it's no, not okay. No, oh, I okay. promised. And so Ken is going first after a surprise round. We'll go. Okay. Uh, we'll get the order in. Okay. None of his word. Okay. Dante, Kent. Is just going to be first. I'm just going to write the number first. Okay. And then we'll the number first. first. The, the number, number first. first. <laughs> uh, after uh, anyone get between a 15 and 20? 15. Okay. 18. 18. Okay. So it's going to be Salise. 18. Rahani. 15. And then uh, Shaka, what'd you get? 12. 12. Have a really slow run. Everyone runs past me. It's a cool run. Like it's you know, <laughs> yeah, like a slow motion, a slow yeah. motion. It's the rage building up. Like mm-hmm. it's gonna be a big mm-hmm. thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's why you have a surprise round. We're gonna we're gonna do a little <laughs> narrative run before we jump into this. Laren got a nine. Uh, Virgil, you got a five. Yeah. Stop I think... at you. <laughs> Listen, I can't roll for shit on initiative. I got a plus eight, and I still haven't rolled above like a seven in weeks. Dante did okay for him, you know? Uh, He's truly 
all decks. Uh, that is how I built that dude. Um, so hopefully he doesn't have to make a lot of saving throws. We'll see. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. All decks, okay. one hit point. Eh. All yeah. decks, one hit point. Uh, so we go into it. Uh, you guys have the surprise run as Shaka is already in the air with their sword, charging at the Xanathar. What do you do? Uh, yeah, I'm going to start with Sharif, just narrative. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, like, this isn't any spell work. This is, yeah. like, getting up in the face and trying to chop a stalk. Yeah, absolutely. Give me a roll. I'm trying to do... So, uh, all right, 23. Oh, 23 hits. How much damage? Oops. What do I need? All right, eight. You got eight damage. Everyone's favorite obnoxious Ready. calculator. Oh, here board. it comes. Oh, we love a calculator. We love, love a calculator. Yeah. That's like a lean. That's like a nice lean to it, too. That's we a very nice relaxed one. Mm -hmm. Put yeah. a little, mm -hmm. little thing on it. Uh, two and three. Minus eight. Oh, told you it was total health. No one else keep track of that but me. Uh, Didn't hear it. <laughs> heard nothing. I heard it, but I'm ignoring it. Cool. Okay. Awesome. You come in Four and damage. you slice eight damage at one of these stalks. Uh, you unfortunately, you're not able to chop one off but you do seem to nick it quite a bit as it's like ah, ah, try to move over to get away from you um yeah, after that and, yeah and I'm, I'm not gonna move away either uh you're gonna stay I'm right gonna there. stay in the grill oh, uh yeah. so as a bonus action mm -hmm. uh i want to cast cloak of flies hey Heck yeah. yeah so i have five foot r of flies yeah um advantage on on intimidation and a creature that starts this turn in the aura takes four poison damage. Heck yeah. So you, uh, I will keep that in mind. You're gonna have to take down some poison when it gets to its turn. Okay. After that, we go to, I'm gonna say, uh, Tahani or uh, Kemp, because you guys are on like the front line. You guys have next initiative moments in this narrative surprise round. Oh, I'm not doing anything particularly exciting. So Tahani, if you wanna. Oh sure. Um, well, I can't be seen, and I've oh, been right. You're invisible. About... I am. I'm super invisible, yo. Um, I think I'm gonna make an attack. I'm okay. gonna appear behind Faye mm -hmm. because nice. she hurt my friend, yo. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's see what that's good. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be a thirty to hit. <laughs> It's that hit. wait oh no their armor class actually 47 so yeah. okay. do it. there's a so weird I'm, hole in their I'll armor class this, at yeah. 30 a 29 <laughs> and a 31 30. hit but right um <laughs> right. Tiny, i think you're muted I'm, I'm doing a bit i'm doing a total bit <laughs> oh because i was like i can still see her character i know you can still see her character i was doing the bit i was like i know Jesus. i still have access to this character Excellent. Oh, so she's going <laughs> to yeah. take some damage. Cool, cool, cool. I imagine. And of course, I need her to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, yeah, stun her. Okay. Uh, the DC for that is 21. Oh, okay, she so gets nice. a uh, plus nine. Is uh, advantage on charm, so I don't know if you're... It's not a charm effect. Gotcha. That is not charm. 16. Hey. Does not make it. Does not make it. So she takes 12 points of damage and seizes up. Whoa. As uh, the dark, as my dark wings descend upon her, and I just like chop her in the back of the neck. Ugh. Yes, you judo chop her for a moment. I, and she goes, I ah. do. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, I, and and Dahani says, "I'm not sorry about this, but I'm a little sorry about what Celise might do to you." Bye. And then <laughs> my, my remaining three attacks will be on on the Xanathar. You see the Xanathar, uh, yes. one of its eye stalks uh, that is currently like blinking away flies, turns and looks at you. It says, oh, God, that means they're all here. If I thought in my... Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, uh, this is exactly how I pictured the Xanathar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's a little... 100%. He's a little... <laughs> No, oh, I don't. I, I... My goodness. Whoa. Double Whoa. crits. Yes. Okay, you're cool. You're cool. You got a yeah. 20 and oh, then two and an advantage. God. No, Describe so, to so, me. 
Okay, here, here's what I was doing because rolling with advantage makes it easier for me to roll all yeah. my attacks. Yeah. Absolutely. So the final three attacks hit because yeah. I get to re-roll if I miss. And yeah. I did get a one. Uh, uh, so, so, yes. Yeah, I'm, hold on. This is... So you got two crits. You got two yes, crits. On I got your... two crits. Incredible. So that's four, two, four, five D10 uh -huh. plus 25. The second time we've had that happen, like Ooh, in the wow. last few seasons, yeah, that's okay. amazing. And this is why apparently I get Beautiful. ones because we have to battle. Yeah, because we yeah, exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, wow, that is sixty points of damage. Yikes. to the Xanathar. Sixty points of damage to the Xanathar. My goodness, it is. Uh... <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Sorry, buddy. Not really. Not, no, no, not, not really. No. Like, yeah. Sorry, not sorry not, at all. No, no not no, in no. the least. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm just processing. You did sixty damage in punches. <laughs> uh, no, no, no extra. Play, just hitting. Uh, you and do? you get a couple of them in the eye. Like ah, yes. And it, like so. Stab them. It's gonna use one of its legendary act. You know, it's still a surprise round. I don't know if they can use legendary oh, yeah. action at this moment. You know uh, I'm, I'm down to let Masood have a little fun with the legendary actions. I'm gonna same because same, I don't know how long this thing's gonna last. Right. <laughs> I really, I really thought it was gonna uh, be five, do five, it. Five, do five, it. Take a legendary. Seconds, it's gonna use right. one of its legendary actions. It's only got three, and it's gonna use this round. an eye ray. So let us uh roll a D10 to figure out which I've thought of a in a long time. Use. I know. Oh my goodness. Gotta be careful of that central eye. We got way too much magic in this party to be anti-magic. Uh, oh no! Well, at the start of its turn, it'll decide where uh -huh. it goes. Uh, so you got three. The fear ray. Ooh. It's one of the. Hold eyes. on, hold on. When whenever anyone's within ten feet of me, they cannot be frightened. Ooh, okay. are you? Oh, I'm with. The, I'm I'm in the room with them. Sure, 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 sure. But I didn't know if. Okay, we'll say they that's can't be that's part of my aura. They so perfect. I love this. It goes, it tries to throw a fear spell like uh, eye on you right before. Um, and like you watch as this eye looks at you before you're about to punch it right in its thing. It's thinking that it can fear you in the exact moment. And Me? even before, yeah, you well, even before. I'm def so, so I'm definitely not within Salise's aura. So you, I can, I can roll like the Xanathar is huge. Yeah, it right? is huge. Xanathar yeah, is yeah. pretty dang big. So, mm -hmm. I I I do not believe that I am in Salisa's aura for, but to, you're in my aura because I'm up close. But you haven't moved yet. You haven't, right, you haven't moved yet. yet. You just won't let me. Have <laughs> no, 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 we're getting there. We're getting there. You, we're getting you there. have it for everybody who's around you, but <laughs> I moved in first. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, to try, to try, to try. Well, I don't know if it was to try and protect Faye exactly, but but more like make sure it she was not an issue. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I saved her for like truly. Th this is this is murder bird territory. I saved her for Celise. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. murder bird does not murder. The murder bird assists the murder. Yeah, that is right, what right, 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 right. <laughs> While Terry we found notes it in the background. <laughs> oh, oh my God! Okay. You get back to rival. <laughs> so you're a murder assistant. Oh I'm a murder assistant. <laughs> okay, so uh, oh, no. what, what I got a roll? wisdom saving throw. Okay. DC 16. Cool. I am not afraid. You are not afraid. And as it tries to flash you, you end up just cutting through the laser of it, the ray, and punching it right in the eye as it goes, yes. ah, oh, God. Uh, as it moves around, trying to move, get out yeah, of its. Uh, you move. have a lot to answer for, Mister Xanathar. I'm very. I don't that. want to. <laughs> as it sort of tries to move. That's fair. Uh, and That's next, we're gonna go uh, to Celise, and then we'll go Virgil, and then we'll close out with Dante. Masood, you did it again. <laughs> Listen, if you don't want Kent to take turns, that's dun, fine. Dun, Just dun, tell dun, me. Oh my! Please, 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 please. <laughs> Because I said it first. Because I, I threw see, it to you. Giving him the and first, like, oh, giving him like the first. And then it was like, yeah, see. Yeah. Yeah. Kent, what, what does Kent do in this moment? Uh, it's not even that exciting. So Kent uh, is going to, yeah. is going to, uh, like, in, in his jovial way, but like yeah. clearly with like serious eyes at Virgil, be like, no dying, be careful. Uh, and I will, uh, I've had this story being whispered in my ear the whole time. Yeah. And as I do, as I say that, 
uh, this little sort of spectral scene of like me and Virgil, like leaving this place together, like very quickly just appears in front of us. Uh, and Virgil, you and I both get. Okay, well, four temporary hit points. <laughs> I like uh, it though. That's good. Yeah, uh, it's cool. It's a, it's a new, it's my new it's bard a, feature. It's Tales from the Beyond. It's Tales from the Beyond. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so the, the spirits have been whispering this story about Virgil and I uh, into my ear this whole time. That's what I heard earlier when they heard Faye. Uh, and so I use that now as an action to get to use the story to give us a little bit of a boost. And you see in this moment as uh, you two stand together holding hands for a moment, looking at what will undoubtedly come after you finish killing the Xanathar. Yeah. Uh, Dante's behind you, and he watches yeah. this moment. And you see something in him. Give me an inside check. Oh, yeah. 23. Can you notice it a little bit more uh, in that moment? There's a moment of recognition. Mm. And I think he, at this moment, sees the rings on your hand, mm. the partnership that is in actually present. The hair in, in my ear, but yeah. Yeah, yeah the hair in your also, ear. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. And like, you understand that it's not only Virgil who's missed out on his life. Dante has missed out on his brothers. And like, uh, he's sort of understanding that in this moment quick uh, acknowledgement of that and then going to say nope other things to worry about right we now got a big deal. yeah <laughs> yep. no feelings only murder uh, uh, later. Got yeah, emotional like... intelligence to sit with that for longer than a microsecond yeah probably yeah, yeah, not yeah, yeah. It's, he clocks it though yeah. <laughs> so i'm out uh, yeah. so after i do that that was my action uh, yeah. i'm going to race over so that i am between uh, the beholder and layer. That's Absolutely. the side on the, of the beholder that I want to stand on. Perfect. And I will use my bonus action to take my rapier and stab into one of the little uh, potion vials on my boots in preparation for next round. Heck oh, yeah. yeah. And you are set and collected. Um, after that, we're going to go with uh, Solis and then we'll go Virgil and Dante. So uh, I've just, I've moved forward after Dahani basically knocked out Faye. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. I because Celise is going right now. I should make this correction. I did not mean mean between the beholder and Laird. I meant between the beholder and Faye because I got to keep an eye on this. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Got gotcha, you. Gotcha, just gotcha. to be before Celise goes. Yeah. <laughs> She's not knocked out. She is just stunned. She cannot. Just stunned. Move. Still can communicate though, right? If okay, very very stilted communication. Cool, 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 cool. So, are you getting in my way then, Kent? I. I do think I would stand in between the two of you and just sort of keep flicking my eyes back and forth between the beholder and you. But I listen, Faye's a hearty girl, and I'm not going to stop you yet. I don't think you're going to one shot Faye. So. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We say that. We'll see. <laughs> I remember. I can still see your character sheet. Yeah, yeah I know. Well, I, so, I can't edit it, so I'm I'm keeping track of the health on my own. Uh, but don't um, you know their total health, and I know you can do that in like. Maybe three hits. Um, so I'm actually, bit, I'm going to surprise Kent. Um, Selyse gathers energy between her hands and almost like in a fireball Hadouken motion encapsulates her in Otaluk's resilience sphere. Ooh. I'll deal with you later. Oh. I mean, I imagine I cannot save against that because I'm currently stunned. So uh, is there anything inside the sphere? Is it filled with water? Is it just like... Basically, she is safe in there. Nothing can pierce the sphere. She can breathe. Yeah, cool. So basically, it's weightless and large enough. So they can... Basically, they can, she could be try to hamster wheel her way out of the, of the space we're in. Yeah. My favorite part of the spell. But disintegrate's the only thing that can actually make it go away. Cool. And it prevents... Everything. Basically, I, was I say, nothing. Yeah. Can I? I, I want to ask this because <laughs> at this moment there is one other person who's moving, and it's Duo, and they're moving towards the sphere. Does Duo's ethereal form 
break through the sphere. I just oh, want to add, like, it, I'm going to ask yeah. your opinion now. So he's pushing up on it for whatever reason, as he's sort of in this space. Uh, and he's flickering you... a little bit, but that is where he's at. Do well, what are you doing? Uh, uh, me. Me. Oh, buddy. And like, that's about all I can sort of get out in this moment. Virgil, what are you doing? Um, are you uh, sorry, Salise? Anything yeah, else? Sorry, in this moment. Um, are we actually taking attacks now, or was that because uh, it, it is a surprise round? It is a surprise round. So do everything that you would do in your round uh, against the Xanathar. Um, then I'm going to try to hold Laren so he can't run away because I do have hold person. Okay. Um, let me see that. I for, I never use it. Um, hold person basically if Lairn has to succeed on a 16 or better savings. Uh, you're gonna what? drop that sphere though, they're both concentration, right? Oh dang nabbit, you're right. Well then never mind. Lairn's on his own. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Lairn's on his own. Hopefully yeah. he's all right. I mean he's done pretty well for himself by now. Yeah. He's like he's he's in he's in high circle. I like it. hobnobbing with the Xanathar. It's not bad. Thank you yeah. for remembering they're both concentration because I sure didn't. Yeah. I, that's the only that and the hamster wheel are the only two specific details about the resilient sphere that I remember. You gotta know. I love and I appreciate you guys about. being honest about that. Um <laughs> I'm glad you know. So yeah, I'm I'm basically hamster willing Faye to deal with her when the mm -hmm. Xanathar is dead. Um then with that, Virgil, what do you do? Um Virgil is gonna take this over, looks looking like things are in hand, and looks again, kind of looks again back at Dante, and then is going to cast lightning lore at Lairn. Mm. Um changing it to ice and also basically protecting him from any damage to essentially yank him back out towards us mm -hmm. um if <laughs> his mission should he choose to resist it is to uh it's attack it's a saving throw of strength 18. strength 18. so he's gonna try and resist getting yanked away in this moment yank okay Unfortunately, strength is not his strong suit. He got a 12 plus Shocking. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. 13 <laughs> uh, does not resist and uh, can, well, rather tries to resist and cannot as he gets pulled away. Uh, and he goes, oh, no, master. And he gets pulled back towards you all. Correct. Yeah, as like at the basically as he gets yanked back towards him, I kind of turn him to to move him between mm -hmm. uh, between Virgil and Dante. And I. Honestly, after hearing him yell master, I do give him a slap across the face, not like a, just like a, you know, like glad you did because I would have as he passed like, by me if you hadn't. What? It is you. It's you. The the the, the vigilante, the water, the uh, yeah. Yes. And your, your uncle. Your and uncle? What? There's time for that later, but right now I have to say something that I should never actually say to a teen because I know you're not going to pay attention to me, but listen to your elders. <laughs> See a shock uh, like goes across his face as he's trying to ravel a lot of things together and can't. Uh, uh, oh, uh, Bless. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but he had it. He, he, he told me th that we would be able to ascend and achieve greatness, and, and we were. And I, the magics that I'm doing now are so much grander and so much more powerful than I would before. Like you said, I can really help people. God, I should have taken silence. You know, that would have helped right now. Um, this is not, this is not how you help people. Working with him is not how you help people. But I, I, I got the doppelgangers a place of refuge in the manor. I, I was able to act, I, I helped the unfortunate. I was able to aid them. Good things, bad intent. Sorry, good intent, bad re- I, I, I'm sorry, I flipped it. I flipped it. I own no words now. Yeah. Good uh, intent, bad execution. Just like your- And does not say your dad, but mm, I was thinking it. Speaking oh. of which, Dante steps up and says, I- This is the only time this has happened, I, I, I swear. And he goes up and puts a uh, karate chop similar to Tahani in oh. the corner of this guy's uh, oh. neck Whoa. as he falls asleep. Oh god! Can someone just do that to me sometimes at night? Like, can someone just Truly. come to my house and give me a stunning strike? And then see I'm the just issue. Not dead? The, uh, can I tell oh. you something? If you're anticipating <laughs> it, 
Uh, it does not work. Oh, it really, true. it hey. really, you have to, it has to be spicy. I gotta get a task rabbit sleep chop. That's what I yeah, need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Somebody to hide in your closet. Oh, God, yeah. no, I never go to sleep. <laughs> <Never mind. laughs> uh, at this moment, that uh, you just see Dante sort of uh, go over uh, Laren's form and says, You deal with that thing. I will protect him and right. we'll talk afterwards. Right. Um, with that, we're going to go to the top of the order, and with that also, officially in combat, we get lair actions. So... Oh, at 20, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah. So, the... <laughs> An eye opens on a random socket of the wall above the xanathar as one of his eyes in fact here. close and it looks down it was like it's like the tentacle pulls itself into the xanathar as then it now sprouts out from the wall i'm gonna it's roll cool. a d10 yeah, see which gross, eye but it's cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> seven Da, da, da. Sleep like ray. Oh, it's not the one I thought. Mm. Sleep ray. It targets. It looks and it sees particularly the one person who's still closest to it. Shaka. It's going to try and hit you with a sleep ray. You got to beat a DC sixteen wisdom saving throw. Okay. Let's do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. All right. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. Uh, you get hit with a sleep ray and stand up perfectly through it. Not a single yawning tear exits your eye just pure what is going through shaka's head as this happens rage just pure rage uh, like, yeah nothing like he's not processing he's not using his spells mm -hmm. if he was thinking right he probably you know he's normally more of a distance fighter he yeah no 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 kept his but distance from the stealth but he's like i'm not really much of a melee person but i'm just running in there and i'm just chopping whatever i can i know that the rest of the team got my back yeah absolutely I'm just going in. Um, Speaking of which, and and also, I, I, yeah, I will. I, I the only thing that I would like to do with the, with the uh -huh. twenty seven is, yeah, uh -huh. would, would would Shaka recognize the sleep ray or no? He would he recognize that that's what he's trying to do? I would say you absolutely know which stock does what. You're okay. completely aware of in its rotation, mm -hmm. and so like okay. number seven in some, no one else has spent this much time around the Xanathar yeah, to exactly. know that they actually go from bottom left of his uh, uh, bottom right of his appendages to like it's like a it's like a sunrise and so you see yeah. that seventh one come out and you're like oh okay okay he's gonna do that one okay because like <laughs> i'd i'd like to get hit by it and like i don't know fake sleep for me yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You get hit by it and you start, like a little, little sneezy yeah. and he says oh, yes things will turn around just in this moment land we're gonna where's land to fake Oh no, it's fine. I don't need them. Yeah, oh, God, we sure did take asleep. care of his whole party oh, real quick. Are you, are you faking? Come on, <laughs> that's just mean. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's too good. Uh, afterwards, that is Shaka's uh reaction. We've got Kent at the top of the priority. Uh Ooh, okay. Shaka did manage to shake that off. So while I don't love that he has decided that it is his, that he's in his melee era, yeah. uh, I will allow it to continue for now. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to stab him with my, I'm going to stab that not Shaka the Xanathar with my uh, poisoned, poisoned rapier. Because uh, I do appreciate that he's here because I'll give me my sneak attack. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, all right. Yeah. And, and. It's, oh, <laughs> Beating his armor class, it's a 21. So you just have to get above Not a 21 bad. to hit. Oh, you know what? I didn't, actually. Ooh, oh, yeah. Uh, you know what? You see, as you go up to stab, a ring shine on one of the stalks. Oh, and it, a ring that's of annoying. And activates and sort of blocks the uh, first rapier attack. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, I will use my bonus action to attack again, he mm -hmm. said, unsure. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's better. There's a 28 to hit. Hell yeah, that hits. Right. Everybody can do it. It's just whether or not you're proficient that you get your modifier. Mm -hmm. uh, Twelve damage. Okay. No, no, no. That's no, no, no. That's no, this is not even the beginning. So I need him to make a Constitution saving throw. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I don't get the plus seven on this one, so that's a five plus. Let's see how the con save goes. It's got a. He it has a plus four to this. So I'm going to roll it open. It's got an at twenty. 
Okay, oh. all right. So in that case, I do not believe anything bad happens. Mm-hmm. Succeed or take and become. So yeah, nothing bad there. Uh, so let me just roll my sneak attack. Mm-hmm. Five plus, come on, settle die. They rolled on top of each other and they're just jiggling now and it won't <laughs> yeah. give me the number. There we go. Five plus 31 is 36 piercing damage. 36 piercing damage, my goodness. Yes. Uh, and I don't I don't want to hurt Lairn. And I don't I can't hurt Faye. So I guess my will. Lairn's not, not even there. Lairn's yeah, well, that's what I mean. Lairn's. Yeah, that's what I mean. Because I could toss half of that damage to somebody else. But there's yeah. nobody else to toss it to. Mm-hmm. Wow. So you you all are chunking through his health, truly, uh, as Good. you're whittling away bits and viscera from the main central core. Mm-hmm. Uh, as he sort of. On this motion, he's going to take another one of his legendary reactions. This is, ah! He's going to try and hit you with another eye ray. Okay. Gonna roll. D10. Uh... Got a six. On a six is the telekinetic ray. Oh, okay. A DC <laughs> no. 16 saving throw. Yeah, it's a strength save, isn't it? Yeah, it is a strength save. Oh, no. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, uh. Nah, it's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it's an 18. I can't do much better than that. An 18, unfortunately, does not do it. I didn't think you, it did. <laughs> you see good. this one Good-room. eye sort of reach out and look down at you, and it begins to bob up and down, swinging back and forth mm. like uh-huh. a stopwatch in a way in which you cannot not look at. And suddenly... You find yourself transfixed in a position, unable to move, caught under the lure. You are incapacitated until the start of the beholder's next turn. Wait, I thought he saved. Oh, did you save? No, No, an 18 18 doesn't for this one, right? Oh, no, 18 does. It's 16. Oh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, then I saved. (laughs) Thank you, absolutely. So uh, thank you for catching me on that. We're all Uh, just faking it for the Xanathar. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's It's my favorite. No, rude. God, (laughs) guys, if you had just waited a week, the bra- I would be so much more powerful. Uh, as he turns and uh, after Giving that- Giving you 14 seasons, sir. <laughs> <laughs> uh, after uh, the Xanathar, uh, sorry, that reaction, we have Dante, who's just looking over um, actual Laren. They're not going to get involved in this fight. So after right. that, we've got- Solis, 18. All right. Um, with Faye out of the way until we're done with this, I'm going to hit the Xanathar uh, with both my attacks, also using a Searing Smite. Oh, yeah. Mm. Um, I should use this giant D20 that has a bunch of books in it just for comedic effect. Mm-hmm. For the record, its anti-magic uh, cone is now focused directly on Shaka, so right in front of him in that yep. direction. Okay. Okay. Um. So does a twenty-five and a twenty-six hit? Yes. His DC is twenty-one. So if you get above that, you're in it. All right. So uh, he he's going to be hurting mm-hmm. because um he's getting a smite at fifth level. Yikes! Ooh. Yeah. So my two attacks yeah. for smiting, that is 16 and 13 on that. Um, okay, 16 and I... 13, that's 29. Yes, and I need to scroll down and do searing smite. Um, and that is 11 on one hit for searing smite. And 17 on the other. So 29, 11, and 17. Yes. And then at the start of next turn, he gets 1d6 fire damage. Oh, he is looking really hurt. Um, uh, I don't. I really uh, don't know if he'll make it to next turn, but we will try. Uh, oh, darn. <laughs> after Solis, we've got Tahani. Oh, me? Yeah. It's going to mm-hmm. use its legend. I was well, going to say, if he's not going to survive till his next turn, he better use them legendary actions. He's got one left. <laughs> yeah, use and or lose. It's just like PTO. He's going to use up another one of his eyes and try and uh, shoot you through what he's got. Sure, let's go. Let's see, let's roll a d10. Oh, that's a d8. D10. 
You got got a zero That's death ten. ray. Uh oh. Ow. Okay. DC yeah. 16 dexterity saving throw. Thankfully, Shaka, you are in the anti magic cone, which means that he cannot target you with his own eyes. But he's going to look around and see who's in the area. And Tahani, you last we checked were in between where, uh, what's it called? Uh, Fade yeah. was like yeah, right, sort of on that. Something you're like gonna, that. I'm in melee with him. Sure. You're in melee with him. He's going to try. You got to beat a DC 16 dexterity saving. Throw. Oh. If he was going to okay. death ray one of us, it needed to be either me or Dahani. So this is right. Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me check one thing before I make this. I mean, you, I, I mean, I, you I'll could check survive. All the I honestly yeah. believe you would survive 55 necrotic damage. Yeah. yeah, yeah we don't want to take so. I mean, I mean, There's no so scenario in which she just, takes 55. <laughs> right. No, I just Please. barely made it. It was a 17. Oh, Sorry. heck yeah. As it comes in and it like turns it the thrum and it like, the last ray of its eyes stalks, looks at you and goes, and it tries to shoot at you as you duck out of the way and you look behind as uh, a piece of rock is literally just like, eva- like kind of scorched mark behind uh, mm-hmm. what would have been your outline if not a dodging. Um, so that is its last legendary action. Uh, it is now uh, Tahani's turn. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a little bit rules lawyery for you because the legendary actions get re- restart at the beginning of every turn. Oh, so he, te- he technically has one more for you to use. There you go. Okay. okay. Yep. Uh, but I'm gonna punch him a whole bunch. There so you go. We'll <laughs> see if he. We'll see if he gets to use it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so as usual, I'm so I'm rolling uh with advantage just to get the two attacks out of the way. Perfect. So what? yeah, that's another a- two twenty. No. Oh my god, if that happened, uh, I would be uh I'd be a little uh, excited about down. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we gotta we gotta shut it down, everybody. Sorry, right. it's over. So that's two hits. That's another what's what's its uh AC? Twenty one. Its AC is twenty one. Okay, so that's only three hits. Cool. So we'll do da-da-da. Uh, 18 plus 15 is 33. So 33 points of damage from my fists. He is looking rough as you pummel. And it, it's like he's imploding. The center mass has taken so many <laughs> dents and uh, knocks and like hits that it's becoming denser. And if at the same time, hollower at the center. Uh, yeah, I'm, in a lot I'm being super gracious. I'm not hitting him in his eye. I'm just yeah. like, you know, he says, thank you. Him like oh, right, thank you. Like, you know, right in the corner of his big yeah. goofy mouth. <laughs> it's going to use its last <laughs> legendary action in this moment. Thank you for that rules lawyer moment sure. to do what it can and try to move away. It's going to try and just like struggle out of sight. Please. Oh God. I just knew if I had another week, I would have gotten this. I could let me get to the portal. I'll be able to get out and it'll oh be God, just amazing. fine. Okay, so, so do get we all get attack of opportunity? I'm gonna say uh, that there's people who are in yeah, the we're all in hell yeah. Let's it do is Shaka's it. turn next, so if it doesn't happen, it happens. But yeah, Shaka has to get the killing blow. That's what I was hoping for anyway. So yeah, my attack misses. Oh, so does mine. <laughs> oh darn, my arrow hit the wall. <laughs> Shaka, oh yeah, damn it! Oh, it. as it tries to right, move well. it. Just, oh, Oh, it is my luck. It's not my lucky day, but I might be lucky again. Okay, we're gonna just keep moving. Oh, can I recant uh, my missed arrows and pin the Xanathar to the wall? You can't Shaka. attack of opportunity with a ranged attack. Yeah, damn Shock is now turn. You gate. You can just close the distance with it. It's only got thirty feet of of hover movement. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Shock is still rageful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but he does. I think as as especially as he sees. Xanthar leaving and like, uh, do it, kind of like closing yes. the distance. Do it, Shaka. He's like, come on. All right. Uh, poor Eldritch Blast. Let's do it. Yeah. It's, yes. I, it's, uh, it's eye is now facing away from you, right? It's trying to run away. 22 it's not hits. what I thought Shaka was going to do, but I like 28 it. 28 also like hits. Too. Yeah, it okay. is. Well, that's all right. And miss. Okay. Okay. That's okay. It's okay. So we're doing 14. 
25 total. Beautiful. Could not have scripted it better. He had exactly 25 hit points. Left. I love that. Uh, <laughs> yes. As he tries to, uh, like, okay, just make it to the portal. We'll get to Umberly's cash. We'll make our move. It, uh, it's fine. I can try. Ah! As you shoot these Eldritch Blasts, in its last moments, it's still scheming. It's still finding and looking for a way to get out. As it turn around and it sees you, it's Arbiter, your, it's Arbiter of Destruction. As it looks upon what used to be its victim, and you see just pure fear in a Xanathar's eye before it grows still. You are out of combat. Darkus sits down and starts uh, essentially, uh, I wouldn't say hyperventil, breathing very heavily. Breathing very heavily. He, he, he kind of just sits flat down on the ground where he is. Yeah. Does anyone want to investigate the the body? Anyone want to talk to Faye? What, what is going on in the space here right yeah, now? Yeah, he said he was heading towards a portal. Have we seen any other... Is there like another exit out of the room that he was headed towards? There are two hallways present within this sort of situation. There's like an actual... Uh, another one that seems to have a staircase leading down. And there's a doorway off to the side to the right. Hey, Kent. Uh, for the sake of uh, archaeological preservation, would you help me loot the body? <laughs> yes. Uh, and as we go over towards it, I'm just mm-hmm. going to, like, we'll, we can stop for just a minute. I'm just going to, like, put a hand briefly on Shaka's shoulder. Yeah, same. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. going to get a, you get a wing hug, man. Yeah. Yeah, Vir- yeah Virgil kind of looks to Celise and seeing that Faye is still, like, that's still there. Like, her mm-hmm. the hamster ball still ham- hamstering. I, good spell. Mm-hmm. I did not have anything that I was going to say. I was like, you're yeah. Your friend might need you. And so for you all who go over and are start digging around, you find five rings on. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A ring of protection, a <laughs> ring of evasion, a <laughs> ring of fire resistance, a ring of ice resistance, and a ring of attunement. Protection, Every evasion, other... fire, <laughs> ice, attunement. Got it. Mm-hmm. Every but other... I... Every other stock has a ring. Oh, sort of oh, oh gotcha. Oh, mm-hmm. cool. Um, cool. While this is going on, I just go over to Neil next to Shock and put a arm around his shoulder. You you gonna be okay? He doesn't say anything, but he kind of grabs your hand, and sort of uh, squeezes it a bit. I just I just give him like that awkward friend hug because we're he's sitting, I'm kneeling. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally I'm sitting on the. I know how you feel. I think if I notice those two having that moment, like there's a big smile on Ken's face as he's over there tearing rings off of eye stocks because mm-hmm. Celise <laughs> has chosen to be with her friend and mm-hmm. not, you know, go slice and dice on Faye. And that's growth and that's good. For for now. Well, for but it was your first but you your know. first instinct was not to go decapitate her, right? Like that's mm-hmm. right. It's still growth. That's what you asked me to keep an eye out for and you've done it yourself i'm really happy about that mm-hmm. there's still time i mean <laughs> sure <laughs> you um, yeah in this moment you, they're all sort of processing we still have fey stunned in the sphere as uh dante comes in laren on his back sort of carrying him piggyback style over his shoulder um and he says wow you uh i like look down for like 12 seconds and i look back up and this thing's gone <laughs> yeah. incredible very wow uh <laughs> very very talented um seems like you've gotten a pretty good use of uh your abilities that he looks at virgil well yeah when people are encouraged to embrace who they are Mm -hmm. they can accomplish so much more laren might need um a teacher of some kind to sort of help him on that um the very least detox him off the xanage like the xanathar juice that he was kind of hooked up on (laughs) 
Oh, that's true. Energy. If Laren uh, is a sorcerer and a warlock, oh, that's interesting. Whose patron is now dead, right? Right, so what is right, that? right, right. Yeah. That's what I mean, yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, dear. Um. Uh, wow. I yeah. I hadn't processed that. Thanks for. Oh, geez. you're welcome. Oh, no, no. I'm, I mean, I'm not. I'm just saying. I'm saying if you want to be around in your your nephew's life, I'm I'm okay with it. All right. I I that, that that's what I'm trying to say. Maybe show just, your face around Caradun a little bit. I don't know. If it feels as though I'm welcome again, then you will see me. I don't. I don't govern the whole city. I like the thing that you think I have that much power. That's very kind of you, actually. I, you know, I, I was just trying. I was trying. I was just trying for a uh -huh. moment, and you just, you know, at that point, um, Virgil, Virgil kind of reaches over to where to where Laren is like passed out, uh, mm -hmm. snaps his fingers, and prestidigitates right. the smell of smelling salts under him, and says, yes. "Deal with your son." <laughs> no, I was better when he was quiet. Oh God! And <laughs> the, uh, Laren and him sort of have a little bit of an argument back and forth, bickering to each other. Um, as we see uh, Faye come to a little bit in the bubble, um, looks at you all. Good, you got my clues. Oh no, this one's all mine. I just, <laughs> I, I give, her, I give, mm. I give Shaka a, a, a pat on the shoulder and walk over and, and I just have my sword still on sheath and it's like on my shoulder. Your clues. Yeah, uh, who do you think did the magic to make a zombie beholder to point you in the direction of the Xanathar in the Melshamber tomb? That's why I stayed behind. Uh, who do you think? We heard you talking to the Xanathar. Hey. You swore your loyalty. Yeah. I double-cross people. You know that about me. Oh, do I know? Wow. So do I did I it to someone for your favor, all right? I, I know you've been hunting me, and it's in my truly most stressful year of my life, running away from you. I don't think you would take an apology in any way, shape, or form. So I helped protect your city. You did no Question. such thing. Yes. Question. Because I'm pretty sure Duo is probably still pressing into this hamster bubble. Yeah. Uh, hi. Uh, Dahani here. Uh, mm -hmm. Thought you were uh, 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 thought you were a pretty cool person to model myself after, and then I changed my mind about that. What was your um, name again? Yeah, exactly. Ugh. Why is he doing this? What have oh. you What have you done with our duo? Takes a bag of holding, sets it down. What they're looking for is in there. Oh, <sighs> oh. that was so that. Mm. Oh, I oh. It was it was difficult finding the pod, uh, but uh, the okay. doppelgangers ended up releasing it. I, I put it in here. Oh, in the uh, pod. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. So he, he, yeah, is he in yeah. the? Is he? Is he okay? He's in the pod in the bag. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay, Dahani. Let's make it yeah, sure. what's up? Can you stunning strike her once I let this bubble down? <laughs> Everyone's favorite murder. Glad to know some things haven't changed. And that's where we're going to end this oh, season no. of Riley. Uh, things haven't no, changed. No. Then that's where we're going to end this season. Right. 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 I, oh, my God. Yeah. Wait. Okay. No, 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 no. If you want to do something, it's the end. I would love, I just, I want to be what? losing of time. I don't no, want to no. too long. No, please. It, this, I this try to our, try right. everyone's backstories. This is the season this finale end. of this our first yours. half of the season. You, you, get a little, you get a little extra. You get a little, Give a little extra. What do you want to say? What do you want to say? <laughs> oh, no, I want to wait for like when she says things haven't changed. I drop the bubble and just molly walk. There away. you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Even better. Even better. We and love no, it. We we exchange a look and then like I'm still ready. Oh, so she's, yeah. ex but she's expecting it from me. But she's not expecting it from Celise, so it hurts more. You yeah. see Dante in the back, sort of looking. It's like they were all just gonna jump that one person. They're you kind you of can are get a, some too. Y'all are kind it's of a, a gang. You're kind of a crew. <laughs> we said we were. Dante, a now is not the time. <laughs> I turn around like you can get some too. No, no, no. Uh, we're, we're 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 gonna be we're gonna be good for now. Cool. For now, we just leave it that. And that's the end for everyone. This, yeah. <laughs> this part of season 15 
Oh gosh. Thank we you all so much for hanging out and, and showing us on this journey. Wow. Uh, we've got an exciting yeah. next couple of six episodes planned and we're gonna talk about it in a little bit. But uh, we've been keeping folks for a while. So we're gonna do a quick round of uh, exit introductions. If you got any questions for us, put them in the chat. We will uh, answer them in our Patreon, if not on our Twitter. Um, and yeah, it, it really, I'm gonna, I'm excited for this talk back uh, for tonight and we'll uh, chat a little bit there. Uh, but we'll start happens so much <laughs> with Jaka. Sh Sharif, you wanna yeah. tell them who you are, where they can find you on the internet? Yeah, uh, I'm Sharif. Uh, you can find me at sharifjackson.com, S-H-A-R-E-F jackson.com. Sharif Jackson on all social networks. I'm a little exasperated. <laughs> um, it's going around. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, you can either go to my website or go directly to equationplay.com to see the latest videos I've been posting uh, with games and other stuff uh, using de dedicating short video clips to specific equations. So be sure to check that out. Um, and aside from that, uh, it is. Uh, Spring break at the school that I'm teaching at, so I have I have a week off of grading, which is great. So, Heck yeah, uh, yeah. But I'll be back on after this. So. Thanks, y'all. Nice. Up next, we've got Yohanio. Hi, everybody. I'm Okenio. I am DM Jazzy Hands. Uh, you can find me here on Twitch and on Twitter at DM Jazzy Hands. Uh, what's coming up next week, Tuesday and Thursday? We're probably finishing Dead Space on my channel. We took a little, we took a little break on Thursday to play Escape Academy, and y'all, I have never gone in so hard for a game before. I, I <laughs> loved. I listen. I love Escape Rooms. It was great. <laughs> Anyway, we're finishing Dead Space this week, so come check that out. Uh, my podcast, The Last Refuge, is done. We're over. It's uh, Sefinit, so we don't have a, a Wednesday night stream this week, but you can still check out all 257 episodes uh, on, on the various services. Uh, it's still up, so go check that out. Um, and then next weekend, uh, I'll be in Boston with several uh, other folks uh, around this table uh, for PAX East. So if you're going to be at PAX East... Uh, come find me. I'm doing I'm doing a panel on Friday, Saturday and Sunday, um, all of them uh, with the wonderful Tanya here with us. Um, I'm not going to tell you what they are because I don't remember the order that they go in. Uh, one of them is about Skyrim. One of them is about Mass Effect. And one of them is about being a creator in this economy. So come check us out uh, at all three of those. I'm sure, Tanya has more details. One of them is at, at four o'clock on Friday. I know that. There it is. <laughs> That's probably the first one you should know. <laughs> it's probably uh, that is me. I'm done talking. Heck yeah. Up next, we got Brian. Um, Hi, yeah, I am Urban Bohemian pretty much on all the socials except for TikTok, but don't worry, just follow me on Twitter so you can see what I'm going, what I'm doing. I'll be streaming uh, Tuesday and Saturday and Sundays. Uh, next Sunday, since we will not be here, I will be doing a um, a co-stream with Wireless Riot, Space Valkyries, and Stephen Joyce for Players vs. Cancer, Spring to End Cancer. Mm -hmm. And then the following Saturday, April 1st, um, I'll be in, <clears throat> sorry, um, I'll be in Mercy Road 4, 24-hour um, D&D game to benefit Child's Play Charity. Um, and uh, Henio and I will be at the first table at noon. Um, yeah. So keep an eye on our socials for more information. Nice. Be sure to keep track of that. There's a lot of cool stuff that's going to be going on. We've got Tanya coming up next. Oh, with me. Um, let's see. Later, I'll be playing some more Diablo 4, maybe with or without uh, our own Eugenio. So going back to hell and he's living his best Kent life, but in heck. Yeah. Um, and then next weekend, I am in Boston. I'm doing five panels. The first panel that Eugenio tried to remember <laughs> was four o'clock on Friday. Uh, Mass Effect fan retrospective. Okay. Uh, me, Eugenio. Dosbiff, who may be around somewhere, and also our clip queen, uh, Lady Luck. We're going to talk about all things Mass Effect. And the panel on Sunday is, yes, in this economy, being a content creator. And those two will be streamed. Uh, I'm going to drop a link in the chat with the schedule. And uh, if you're in Boston, say hi. Don't be weird. Don't be creepy. And we're all wearing masks, so tell me who you are, because mm -hmm. I won't recognize you. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do some Diablo. And to Tachia to Chia, which is a lovely game, comes out Tuesday. I got a very cute PR package for it. Cute. And uh hopefully I don't have to actually play the ukulele in the game. Otherwise, it's gonna be real bad. <laughs> awesome. And then we've got Latia. It's me. Uh hi. You can find me everywhere on the internet at Latia Jaquise because that's my name, and there's only one of me. Um, as usual, I am on D&D Beyond Live every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Central, and other times in other time zones. Uh, other than that, I ain't got nothing. <laughs> You'll see me when the rivals come back, when we come back. 
that feels like a great segue to me. And we'll be back in two weeks. Uh, two. I'm a suit. Two weeks. Uh, I'm a suit duck. I'm, uh, you can find me on Instagram, on Twitter at Marudboy, M A H R U D E B O I. Use Pete Gosler Nomad. I've had the distinct pleasure of being the GM for this uh, short six mini season, half season thing. Uh, and it has been such a blast to not only share the story with everyone at the table, uh, but also all of you all uh, watching at home or at work or wherever you are. Uh, thank you all for joining us along the ride. And we hope to see you back in two weeks to see us. Um, yeah. Right. And, out we should, the rivals. and we should say, right, that going forward, we will be the remaining six episodes will be by every other week. Right. Yeah. So um, that's not just we're not just skipping a week for packs. We are actually moving to an every other week model. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, like 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 we've said, uh, we will have more details for that about what you've got coming up in those six episodes over 12 weeks soon. Uh, but Yay. yeah, just so you know, don't come back, you know, in three weeks thinking we're back to, to weekly. Yeah, exactly. Um, but. Thank you all so much for hanging out. We'll see you in two weeks. Um, and we love you. Thanks for hanging with the rivals. We're going to uh, raid. Yeah. We're going to raid. We're going to raid. Yeah. Um, Hold we're on. heading over to Happy Capster's channel. Uh, looks like Maria's going to be playing some Nancy Drew uh, and is just <sighs> getting the stream started. Uh, so we'll be able to gather there awesome. before that stream gets going. <laughs> In the meantime, let's give a shout out to all the folks who made us possible through the Indiegogo. We'll pop that up yeah, on, on the screen. Right. Uh, and you can watch that while we are about to raid. Thanks for hanging out, gal. Thanks, Bye. Sean. Bye. Bye.